Yeah. They're out there. Yeah. Hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, do you start it? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> He's got All 22 right. family members. That's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so All right. We, uh, we are starting Dungeon of the Bad Maid session number 74. And we're on level six. Nope. <laughs> we're fast. We'll be done in That's six not bad. years. Ten, ten sessions per level yeah. plus a little extra. We well, are... we had Armwreck Island, right? That was eight yeah, sessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> This is what happens when you get famous. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All 60 views. We, uh, out, we have fans. We have fans now. We got to spruce right. it up, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got to get bring the music back. <laughs> uh, uh, what happened last week, guys? Um, we bought stuff. Yeah. 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 You guys got out of... Uh, you finished... Uh, uh, you rescued actually a couple more people from uh, Xanathar. You made it to the surface. Uh, you got a new friend that's following you everywhere. Oh, yeah. The uh, deep gnome, the Cinnaverbalin. <laughs> uh, Flutterfoot. And you made it home. You got a, I guess, uh, a reward. Uh, you got a new shiny spear. Plus one spear. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. It only took you to level nine to get a magic weapon for the paladin. Well, it's because we we're picky. That's kind of true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then you went and saw Laryl Silverhand. You got some information about the Shadow Dusk family. Uh, you got a couple contracts, too. Um, it's an ancient family. Um Outside of that, they were um, like you know, exiled from Waterdeep. Uh, their whole entire uh, mansion um, was burnt down and destroyed. There's nothing left of it. There's no ruins or anything like that. So uh, the Traveler is associated with that name. Uh, Mel uh, says he's going to be extra careful. Uh, because for whatever reason, everybody knows who the hell he is, even when he's not him. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you really want to know, just watch the previous episode. So, you guys are at the Yawning Portal, uh, ready to go down. I think you all subtracted a gold piece. Flutterfoot's going with you. Um, and just as uh, you guys are about to uh, pile into the the lift bucket, whatever, um, you see Darabeth come running in, uh, and she's like, "Wait, wait! I'm I'm glad I caught you. I have a request. Since okay, uh, I I I don't have a, a whole lot of money, uh, but I was wondering." If I could have a hundred gold pieces for the sending spell, in case we run into trouble again, I can contact you. I think that makes sense. Yep. How much is it? Hundred gold pieces. 100 gold? I'll give it to her. You got, you got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I'll take it out of one. Out of the uh, sperm bank? I mean, spell bank? <laughs> uh, yeah, that one. Okay. Uh, yeah, she she goes. I'll have to find uh, the spell, um, but yeah, it shouldn't be shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay. Is that going to cover uh, scribing it and buying a scroll? Oh, probably, probably not. not. I'm probably going to need another hundred for that. I should have kept my mouth shut. Um, Can yeah. I inside that? She looks like she's bullshitting now. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and inside it. Okay, Griff's well, an idiot. I don't totally suck at it. Uh, 
Yeah, Pistolette, um, from what you can tell, she's she's telling the truth. Um, there's, you don't see a lot of deception there. Yeah. Um, she is a lot of breath. Uh, it seems like she was running to catch up with you guys. I mean, I look at Griff and say, yeah, you should have shut up. Yeah, I'll pay it. I should keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I got, okay. I got 160. I'll, I'll take it out of mine. Okay. I mean, it is a third level spell too, though, so that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, and, and it, better that she, you know she have it. Right. That way, it's like one time, right? It's a one time purchase. Yep. It's right. a one time, she'll subscribe it into her spell book. Yep. She'll have it, um, and then uh, it's obviously a two way, twenty five words. So she can right. send something. You can send something back. Can so we don't know this yet. We can't technically. We're not supposed to be able to teleport out. We don't know if spells will go in or out yet either. So correct. Yeah, we've been told that teleport spells won't work, but we know the lady in Skullport that will teleport you. But she right. seems to be friends with Halister, so maybe that's why she can right. teleport people. Or maybe you can teleport from Skullport only. Maybe. I don't yeah, know, cause, but cause... in any case, we we don't know if spells can penetrate in here or not. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I mean, we were told they don't. I, I believe that's part of the dungeon is you can't teleport out or in. You can usually teleport yeah. in. You can summon oh. things, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. You just can't teleport out. You right. can't teleport out unless does banishment work? It does not. Ooh, it's good to know. Banishment does not work. Unless, no. unless... Unless your besties... Um, I guess you wouldn't know that yet. Okay, I will not say anything else. <laughs> so. Yeah. Like Misty Step works, right? I mean, you, people, I think, Misty Stepped. So Misty yeah, but, Step works. But that's nice. within, right. not yep. outside. Like, almost like there's a barrier. It seems yeah. like. Okay. All right. So. And we don't want to use the uh, the gates as much as we would like to because apparently right. they're bad. Yeah, wow. teleporting within the dungeon might work too. Yeah, that's true. That's that's a good point. Not that, I mean, I don't know, Pistolet, if you're anywhere near being able to cast teleport yet, but. That's a seventh level spell. Right. Oh, sure. yeah. That's a big no. Yeah. <laughs> or women, like teleportation circle, though. Is the will yeah. is That's there, but the skill is not. That's a level five spell, but you got to be going somewhere. Right. You got to well, know. I'm where. saying, oh, we'd have to stay for days to create the circle. I forgot. Okay, forget it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, everyone heads down. Flutterfoot is with you. Uh, he's kind of, you know, cartwheeling around the, <laughs> as much as he can in that lift. Uh, you make it down to level one. What is the plan? Um, well, I don't think there's anything on level one, right? So we're just walking to no. level two. Yeah, so our, wasn't the, the plan we were going to go to level two? The notes say... We could go from level two straight to that level. Uh, was it six? Going back and looking. Yep. Yeah. That's right, because we need to get to that treasure. Right. And, uh, Portals by level. How long level has it been? Two. Yep. Two days? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's been two days. That's not too bad, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, I would say your characters know this one. You you just came up two days ago, so it's it's the one where you have to touch something metal, a right. metal item. Yep. Uh, what are you going to touch? To so you guys walk down there, right? There's really nothing in between you and this. Uh, everything is pretty much wiped out. Um. You haven't seen really a whole lot of activity on level one, especially, uh, except for Val, and she's she's not there in the, the pillars or whatever that you you walk through. Um, 
you walk to to level two, uh, the market is empty. Um, there's there's nothing there anymore. Um, just dead carcasses that are starting to smell of goblins. Um, oh, good idea. All right, so you're going to give up a copper piece. I think that would be a smart thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah, giving up a copper piece does it would be disa- smart. Does the metal thing disappear? Do we remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it turns yeah. to rust. Yeah, yeah copper. Yeah. Good idea. Okay. I mean, a copper piece is nothing. You know, yeah, so. exactly. That's good okay. thinking. I was just looking through my stuff. Yeah. I um, do have copper piece. I'll give it up. I'm okay. going from 19 to 18, so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, so you touch touch the copper piece. It turns to powdered rust, and the portal lights up. Right. We go through. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, so you guys. Wait, uh, go... should, doesn't Flutterfoot want to go first as we go through all these portals? It doesn't matter. It's it's random. Maybe oh, that's right. it was. Uh, I don't know. It's oh well. The last two right. times, yeah, it, a die was rolled based on the number that was going through, and then we rolled for the Bane or Boon, and then he rolled to see which one it was. That's that's okay, the order. Okay. Okay. So I don't think it's going to matter. It always worries me. Hey, uh, so you... Okay, uh, so when you um, go through, you see uh, an Elder Rune appear. Uh, Mike, uh, sorry, not Mike. Perrin, roll me a d5. Oh, man. And and uh, what is the order? Let me see the order here. Number five will be Flutterfoot. So I'll go Lear one, Griff two, Perrin three, Pistolet four, Flutterfoot is five. Hey, what? I'm going to roll a d6 and six is a reroll. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> six, everybody get there. All right, it's Lear. All right. Roll me a Constitution saving throw wait hang on hang on let me make sure it's hang on uh i'm gonna roll this one okay okay so uh this one uh glows blue uh as it hits you lear okay okay so what happens is you gain a pool of five D6s. You can use an action to expend up to two of these dice at a time to heal any creature you can see, including yourself, within 30 feet of it. Oh, sweet. Praise hell of Eldeth. <laughs> Alright, so that was... I'm making an effect. You said it was... Five D6. five D6s. Yep. Okay. And it's a healing. Thing, yep. Right? And you okay. can expend up to two of these. Two at a time. Right? Two at a time. It takes an action. You might be the best healer in the party now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got the boon, not the bane. Yeah, that's cool. That's yep. sweet. Get a lot of boons out of that. Okay. So. Uh, with that, you all step through, and you appear on level six. Oh. It doesn't have the... That's just weird. And um, so last time you guys stepped through this, you, it kind of was like stretched out. You heard a voice speaking and everything. This time it's instantaneous, like it's been almost every other time. Uh, you appear on level six in that room, um, and standing uh, at a, at attention are two Dwergar with their spears pointed or their pickaxes pointed right at you. One of them says in Dwarvish. Uh, you need to follow us. Skella wants to talk to you. Okay. Okay. 
And they, uh, Flutterfoot will be the Dwergar. They open this door. You see a dead, rotting bear, uh, bugbear. <laughs> and. Oh, what happened to that guy? Right? Yeah. Okay. That was a paladin, was it? <laughs> no. But <laughs> oh, that was the other one, yeah. All right, Pistolet, you're, you're, I don't know where you're going. I don't know. South. I'm not, when I load, I'm blind, so I have oh. to turn a bunch of shit on, and then, and then by that time, you guys are gone, and I'm left alone. All right, hang on. I'll take you. Don't worry. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll take you. There you go. There you go. You can, you can go the rest of the way. Yeah. Okay. So you see here, um, there's a lot more Dwergar in here. I'm not going to put them all on here, because... Fantasy Grounds probably blow up, but um, you see a lot more Dwergar, and you see that everybody's kind of on alert here. Uh, and and Skella comes over and goes, well, where the hell, you, she says in common, where the hell you guys been? Uh, it's a story. What, what What's going on here? You guys seem frantic. So, we start exploring this level a little more. Yeah. And I'm losing Dwergar like crazy. Oh, somewhere specific? Or all over the place? To the south. Anyone Mostly get... to the, all to the south. Anybody survive? Anyone have an idea? No. Uh, I did have a couple people survive, but they say that they're uh, invisible or they can't see them. Oh, shit. Oh, sweet. That's not good. That sounds like fun. That. So Plus we're still looking uh, for a uh, hand of the king, big uh, mm -hmm. hand of the king, but also mm -hmm. like an umber hulk or something, right? Oh yeah, we need some blood, like umber hulk blood. Yep. Yeah, and those are down here in this level. All she right. says, "Well, uh, there, there is umber hulks. Uh, we run away from them. Yeah, uh, really I think they're that. to the south as well. Uh, mm -hmm. But for the for the most part." Uh, there, there's something out there that's invisible and killing, killing me clan. All right. Well, and you haven't found any, uh, severed hand or anything, right? No. Um, we, we, like, we've kind of called off the search. Hoping, uh, well, hoping... You guys would show up. I thought you were dead because you said you'd be back here in the day. Yeah, we meant to be. Yeah, we thought so too. Yeah. Um, do you do your guys carry lights with you when you go out, or do you rely on your dark vision? Dark vision. Okay. All right. Something invisible you can't see with dark vision, but you're not using light. So, all right. So I'm guessing the hands down there because you haven't found it yet. It's probably because it's down there. Unless there's some secret passages we're not seeing to the north. Uh -huh. um, but I, I've called everybody back. So uh, we, we're, we've we been kind of camping here. Um, we're, yeah. uh, we've are we got enough supplies probably for another five, six days, and then we might have to head out. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we'll, uh... Seven hours for Psychic Whispers. Oh, sweet. It's about 10 a.m. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, uh, what do you think, guys? I think we came down here looking for the hand, and they haven't found it yet. We have a pretty good idea where it might be. You want to go find out what's invisible and kill it? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds fun to me. I mean, we could, we could try talking to it, but you know. Uh, so, uh, Flutterfoot, little wiggly boy, there. You sure yeah. you want, you sure you want to come with us? Or go oh yeah, okay. We're friends to the end. Yeah. Because he's just cartwheeling around, you guys. Well. Skella's like, what the. F Where'd you find the deep gnome? I was in a secret hideout. It's, like I said, long story. Yeah, they killed Xanathar. Oh, you gotta shut up with that. 
He keeps he keeps saying weird shit. Okay. Just go back there and see what you find, Skella. Yeah. Yeah, listen to the crazy uh, we killed, part. Uh, we killed cool. Tiamat, too. Uh, tell him about the Tiamat fight. Yeah. Tiamat? Super secret assassins and you know, all this other bullshit. Anyway, we're going to... I think we're going to head out. Well, uh, What's the fastest way to the south? Uh, back there you came and go south. All right, okay. fair enough. Uh, do we have anything for invisible creatures? I don't know. By we, do I, I mean any of you guys? Because I don't have shit. I can't even see. I don't have fairy. Does anyone have fairy fire? I have fairy fire. Okay. So uh, if we have an idea uh, of where something is, we can. Personally, I prefer it. fireball. But right. That's fair. That kind of lights you them on fire real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Do we want to go all stealthy? Do you want me to put uh, pass the trace, everyone? They can't hurt, right? Or do we... oh, it's a spell slot, but you know, happy to do it. We think it's gonna help. I I would suggest we use light because yeah. the Dwergar aren't using it, and they're. I yep. can't and think off the top light, of my head, use... but I I think there are things that you can see in the light that you can't see with. Right. Dark vision. Okay, so I won't bother pass with a trace then. That's what I'm wondering. I mean, and there's others. It's better to see at night. Right. If a, a you know, Pistolette and I need light, so we can, like we can hang out in the light. But if the two of you wanna, go on ahead, maybe Pass Without Trace works really well for you guys while we stay in the light. Do you have a light spell that you can put on, like on your spear or something like that, so you don't have to carry a torch? Um, I have a drift globe. Oh, that's right. That's I right. It's a drift globe. Yeah, it's right next to we've established that. That's going to stay okay. right next to Pistolette at all. Okay, time. that's right. Yep, okay. cool. Yeah, uh, should have like a little harness or something. I forgot yeah. all about it. Yeah. Mm. So we'll stay. We can stay within the light. And we'll just make sure that you stay just out of sight. So we won't know where you are. You'll have to kind of help us with, with that. Well, I can. Things. So he can be up further. I got dark vision. So right. if he's up in front of me, you can't see him. I'm in the middle, then that'll, that'll be enough distance between where you'll That's always see right. me and I'll always see him. Well, you won't see him because if you're... Yeah, you won't right. see him. Yeah, yeah, I... Oh, I was thinking I would see him, but you're yeah, right. You guys can keep mentally, like, talking right. to each other, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going around the corner or I'm 10 right. feet down, I'm 15 feet yep. down. So you can kind of talk each other through. But yeah, that's right. right. I forgot. So Pistol and I stay together. And we yep. keep you, Lear, just in sight with our right. light. Yep. So Passage Without a Trace helps you be silent. But if you're in the direct line of sight of someone... Right. There's no way. They can still oh, yeah, get you, it yeah you can't hide in direct line of sight. Right. 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 Uh... I still can't see. Oh, pistolette. You're sitting on my shoulders? Yeah. Favorite yeah. place to be. So we have not... We, we went in this door and looked, but that's all we did was look, I think. No, you went through there. Oh, I don't have any... Oh, hang on. You go down here? I do. Let's, let's try this. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, there that's we nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I forgot about that. What is that? Yeah, that's uh, Fog of War Load. Fog of nice. War uh, Load? Yeah, so it's... Uh, oh, what's me the, that. Uh, hang on. I like that already. That's sweet. That one is... Oh, God, which one is that? You want to turn that, pist that uh, Drift Globe on, Pistolette? It is on. It is? I can't see. Can't see it? No. Hang on. I don't think so. Well, I put a torch on, so you should be. Oh, yeah, see. I can. Never mind. Okay. Uh, which one is yep. that? Uh, now I don't. Yep. You're good. <laughs> Get the strobe light going. I'll have to tell you which one it is. That's, That's okay. okay. 
Yeah, if you want to throw it in Discord at some point. Yeah. Great. Okay. All right. So there's the door there to your south, Perrin. Sorry, I was in a sneezing fit and went in uh, on the Yeah, door. I heard. I heard. Um, I am going to listen at the door. Okay. There's light in there. So here is my perception. Okay. You don't hear anything. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open the door. Okay. Oh. You open the door. We'll sneakily walk in. Okay. So when you get there, Perrin. You see, uh, let me see what you see. Embedded in the south wall is an archway with six shallow, empty niches carved into it. The wall inside the arch is carved with a stylized image of a mountain with the sun above it. It is okay. a is there any other... Oh, it's a portal. It's a what? Yeah. Oh, it's a portal? It's a, portal. It's a gate. And a portal room. Oh, shoot. Open up notes. Oh, he has a new and gate? You've seen its like before. We've seen oh. this gate. Yeah. It looks like a portal to a certain level? Level four. Is there a oh, dragon we didn't kill in 11 full four? Oh, shit, is this the here? secret room? So there's a path down here as well. So I will, uh, I'll obviously look around the room to see if there's anything else. Hold on. Alright, so on level four, we had one portal that we didn't know what it was. It was portal, to, all I have is portal to level, and there's nothing, but I didn't have a description. Let me open up my notes. I have a question mark that that might go to level 13, but I have no uh, idea why. So we, okay, but he said we saw it, so that's why I'm... Pretty sure you have. This was the same one. Let me look up Just my level notes. Level 3. Level 4. Uh, this one, uh, you noticed on that side had this, um, well, they don't give a very good description in this one here. Maybe There's the one on it. level four. Let me open up level four. So this is the one with the unicorn. you saw on level four when you took out the driders. Oh, uh, okay. So hang on, let me make sure. That was before I was taking notes on the level portals. That's why. So. And you said it on level six it didn't have unicorns or it did? Well, this one... Hang on. Oh. This is the one that the Drider lied to us and said it went to level five. Yeah, maybe. The okay. Aboleth lied to you. Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, so, okay. this one is, so, th this is what it was on level four, so let me read it. It's a lot more detailed than the one you see here. Uh, carved into the arch are six stone niches, each one containing a small stone figurine that weighs one pound. Mm. The figurines represent a black dragon, a unicorn, an umber hulk, an owl bear, a minotaur, and a manticore. Um, carved into the wall inside the arch is a stylized image of a mountain with a full moon symbol above it. Well, let actually, me actually, copy this. I have that written down. Well, oh, you do? Okay. I do. I don't know why. I must have been on okay. level four. And then, if the horn of the unicorn figurine is inserted into the hole in the moon symbol, it activated the gate. You did this. I have it in my notes. You activated the gate, but you didn't walk through. Okay. 
But we didn't know where it went. Right. Um, on this side... Is there a password? Uh, let me... This is... This is... This is a shitty description. Like, it doesn't... So it just says, embedded in the south wall is an archway with six shallow, empty niches carved into it. <laughs> it looks like... <laughs> That's all it says. That's it. Um... The, Instead of being figures... monsters or whatever, um, it looks like you, uh, the central one, uh, it's it's one of like a, a human, a dwarf, a halfling, an elf, a gnome, and uh, a dragonborn. That's kind of what they look like. The central one, which looks like it's had stuff inserted into it, is the is an elf. So you can surmise. I won't even have you roll. I'm giving you something free today because the description on this is I'm making it up as I go. <laughs> <laughs> is that you need in like an elf figurine to to activate this gate? Oh, and are the are the niches empty here? I'll say that five of them are filled with the human. This one says it's supposed to be empty, but I'll say they're filled except for the elf. Except for the elf, okay. Yeah. So the, the piece to activate it on this side is missing. Yes. I got that saved in the, the portals by level. Okay, awesome. All right. Okay. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Huh? Mm. Uh. Okay. Mm. And I, I rolled a while ago to see if there's anything else interesting in this room at all. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, that's a really good roll, but there's nothing of interest in this room other than this portal. Okay. Then we'll oh, wait. come down the corner. Oops. Okay. And it looks like, oh, guys, there's light ahead. Oh, that's good. So we'll sneakily come down here. Start wheeling down right behind you is Flutterfoot. Fucking hell. Okay, Flutter, Flutterfoot, go have a look, buddy. You're part of the team. Go tell us what you see. Well, he wouldn't see you anyway. Oh, yeah, that's Here's right. Me. Yeah. He just bumps into Here's you. Me. Excuse me. I get out of the way and I shove him into the room. Uh, Roll me in athletics or acrobatics, please. I won't give you acrobatics for sure. Oh, actually, okay. no. What am I better at? Yeah, I mean, it's acrobatics, but still. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Into the tower. Try and get out of his way and nudge him into the room. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, what is that, Dex? Let's see. Does he get? No, he doesn't get anything. Yeah, you 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 kind of throw him into the room, and he's like, "Oh, it's hey, that's rude." Well, I didn't. Get I uh, silently tell him mentally. Just want to make sure that we didn't bump into each other. Right. Not being that, rude. Nothing pounces on him. Nothing becomes. No? Nothing yeah. uh, comes out of there anywhere. Hey, there's right, a tomb here. Oh, a tomb? A grave Ooh. site? Uh, Is there a hand? Well, we'll have a look at this. Oh, so, uh, this chamber um, has six glowing quartz pillars. Fill the room with bright light. Rusted helms, shields, armor fragments, and weapons cover the floor. Mm -hmm. This debris makes the entire room difficult terrain. Um, I'll say, Perrin, that perception is kind of taken over some of the room. So you know that the arms and armor were fashioned by orcs, goblinoids, drow, 
Dwergar and other uh in 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 some dwarves. Um a deep alcove in the north wall is mostly clear, clear of metal wreckage and contains a shattered stone sarcophagus. Engraved in the back wall of the alcove is a dwarvish inscription that reads uh, this. I cannot read that. Anyone else? Nope. Oh, yeah. Yes. I can read that. Uh, our king is with the gods. Here lie his bones. Oh, that's good. We need the hand. And the uh, king? I mean... Right? There are... Um, dwarven bones, you can tell. Um... Are scattered around the smashed sarcophagus. Can any of us tell if there's a dwarven hand bone in there? What kind of is role that would that a, require? I don't know. Is that a medicine check? Is that a history or? We lost someone. Who'd we lose? Perception. We lost Lear. Yeah. Oh no. We lost Lear? He went and got a bourbon already? Oh. Well, and a scotch and a beer. Yeah, he fell on the router on the way back. One bourbon, one scotch, one beer. Uh oh. Ryan. He hasn't really been talking. Okay. Well, we'll, get, we'll give him uh, a few seconds. Um, so are you studying? What are you doing? Like, what are you guys doing? I mean, I'll look around the room just to make sure there's nothing like, you know, I can see there's a path or pathway up here. Uh, like, yeah. Anything else? Okay. I want to look interesting aside from this room. Yeah. Go okay. ahead. I was going to say, I'm, I'm going to look through the bones. I want to see if I can find what appears to be like a dwarven hand roll me a investigation check and then i'll get to you here in a second parent okay. look at the bones not the greatest investigator oh uh, brian disconnected no nope. <laughs> um yeah you <laughs> no, you're having a hard time with that after looking around the room, I will also look at the bones. Okay. There's rebooting. So, uh, the couple things, Perrin, uh, is uh, you looked around the room. You did see that there is a secret door here. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Okay. Secret doors. So, and then on the investigation, you don't, you don't really find anything. Like nothing All right, well, pops out. Uh, pistol I'll check if the... you want to roll, you can in investigation. Uh, I will roll for Lear. Lear. I will also check the door for traps. Secret door. Yeah, pistol you're not picking up anything either. Uh, skills. What else did, is it? Did Lear? <laughs> uh, I have to. I'll have to roll for Lear real okay. quick. I know oh, you're back, oh, Brian. No, you're good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm not in fantasy grounds yet, though. So. Yep. Are you got a psychic die, too? Uh, the psychic die will not help him as okay. he rolled the one. <laughs> I mean, my passive is higher than that. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, investigation wise, none of you, uh, we're able to um, discern, you know, discern um, anything about the bones or anything like that. I mean, there is hand bones there, uh, and there is a hand bone in the sarcophagus. There is kind of a scattered skeleton. Uh, you do see that one of the the hands is missing. 
Oh. They probably already tried them. Or something took it. Right. Is there anything else around the sarcophagus? Like, is there anything? Like, I, I'm going to look at the secret door. Yeah. Um, so I'm check the secret door for traps, but yeah, you don't find anything on the secret door uh, to the south there, Perrin. Um, doesn't okay. seem to be trapped or or anything like that. Um, okay, find a way room. to. You're going to open it. Yeah. Okay. Turn stupid. Okay. Ish. <laughs> so, you see here. A black marble sarcophagus flecked with gold stands close to the south wall. Its lid carved in the likeness of a dwarf king. Oh, so there was a fake sarcophagus. This is the real one. Here, guys. Ten glittering panels are set into the west, south, and east walls. Each panel is a six-foot tall, three-foot wide, one-inch thick, rectangle of golden crystal carved with the bas-relief image of a dwarf warrior clutching a battle axe the lid um yeah that's that and then so, okay so i will go up and Check the sarcophagus. I'll check that for traps as well. Okay. Yep. You don't find anything, parent. Doesn't. Okay. Do, am I strong enough? Am I strong enough to slide it open? Uh, this one. It looks like you have to to like actually pick it up. So roll me a strength check. All right. I will. Uh... Mentally, quietly summon Griff and say, hey, big boy, give me a hand with this. Strong man. All right. I can't see. It's dark. All right. would, could he do a strength check with Boom. me with advantage of me helping? Or how would you how do you want that done? Uh, you could both roll a strength. See if you guys can lift it. Check. Whoops. Sorry, I meant to. Sorry. You want me to throw a new one in the tower? No, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, so between the two of you, you lift up the sarcophagus. Um, and you see the, the dwarf image on the sarcophagus. It mouth, its mouth starts to move. <laughs> oh. And it bellows out in Dwarvish. And when oh, that happens. That's not good. Uh, hang on. It says, it says we're dishonoring their king, and the tomb shall be ours as well. When oh, that great. happens. Uh -oh. All the battle axes animate Fuck shit. and roll for initiative. Da, da, da. Yay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. we rolled once. Yeah, we got an eight. One. Roll the <laughs> yeah. one with the three. We got a three instead. Oh, wait, I got to roll for Flutterfoot. It's three times better. <laughs> Flutterfoot's going to take one hit for you guys. <laughs> Pretty cool, Flutterfoot. To the let's end. His, let's see what his roll is. Oh, he got a 19. <sighs> Yay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, they animate, and we are ready to go. Uh, Lear, you're first. All right. I am going to... Um, I'm going to stay right where I am. Okay. I'm going to take steady aim on the one next to me. So. Okay. okay. 
That is going to hit it. Nice. It probably won't do anything. It's psychic. I don't know. It did nothing. That's what I thought. All right. Hmm. Uh, I can't move. It's my action. Bonus action was steady aim. Um, I will interact with an object and draw my rapier. Okay. That way I can at least parry and dodge and all that kind of thing. Yes. Okay. That, that sounds good. Turn. Okay. Yeah, Leary, you, you hit it, but it, it seemed like it had no effect on it whatsoever. I, I figured that, but I, I needed to test it, so. Okay. What is this? Oh, I can't do that, can it? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You guys are fine. All right, this <laughs> one flies to the nearest target, which would be parent. So parent, let me put you on an actual square there. Okay. All right, uh, it's going to attack you with one. Uh, it says longsword attack, even though it's a battle axe. So, go <laughs> figure. The All battle right, axe we is wielding a longsword. Yeah. Yeah. And it missed you, Perrin. You're able to dodge out of the way. Is it using the flying swords as, as the the template? Yeah, I think oh, so. Probably, well, that's yeah. why, yeah. Yeah. So this one... Yeah. It looked like it based that's... on the tokens. That's why I said it. Yeah, it's all swords, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, this one's going to go after you, Perrin, as well. Ooh. That one's going to hit. So it slashes into your arm, doing nine points of damage. Uh, you, parent. I'm sorry. Okay. Next up is Flutterfoot. <laughs> Morphs into Halister and... Cast yeah. ninth, ninth level magic missile and kills them all, right? He disengages. <laughs> Little shit. Five. He can go right through that. that five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Uh, Pistolette, are you, are you are you inside or outside? Because you're kind of right in the middle of a square. Yeah, would have been outside probably. Okay, cool. So Flutterfoot goes right. By, uh, um, and that is his turn. Can she use a reaction to shove him back in? <laughs> <laughs> Get back in there, you piece of shit. No. <laughs> no. no. She's ten feet up. Alright, Griff. Alright, I'm gonna whip my spear around and I guess try to knock this fucking uh, thing to the ground here. You're gonna try your new spear? I'm gonna try my new shiny spear. Okay. All right. It's cursed. Probably. <laughs> it is. There we go. Told you. <laughs> it's brand new. It does that the first time. It's normal. Yeah. You'll crit too. I swung worry. it too fast. It was way lighter than I was expecting. Yeah. There nothing. Uh, nothing happened on the uh, the crit. Uh, the fumble. Okay, that's good. On the attack it. either. <laughs> yeah, or on the attack. Yeah. Yeah, all right, let me, let me try this again. Sorry, sorry, everybody. Okay. That's, that's better. better. All right. That's better. And I'll do a little bit of damage. Yeah. Oh, I didn't kill it, huh? All right, well. Oh, I'll, I'll, damage, whack, though. I'll whack it with the spear butt, then. Okay. And that's No, not, you won't. That's not, that's not that's, okay. That's not okay. Yeah. Again, it's just too light. You're not used to the, how light the spear is. Oh, jeez. All right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a step over here. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, am I gonna do that? Am I? Am I? Yes. All right. Perrin, get back here with me. Oh, I assume you guys just dropped the lid. Right? When you lifted it up, the magic mouth was like, you're going to die or whatever. Oh, yeah. I assume you guys just dropped it. Yes. Boom! <laughs> yeah, it just echoes throughout. That's, that's not great. 
Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, Pistolette, I got your whisper. We, we would have been gentle, don't worry. We would have to drop it down gently. So, I'll let you know if you uh, come across anything. Thank you. All right, you're up, so though. I want to go here. Yeah, go there. Can I go there? Go there. Sweet. So I'll drop down to five so I can target these dudes. I'm okay. going to use Agonizer's Quarter. Okay. Was that a 30-foot line? Yep, 5-foot line. Okay. Wow. Wow, they all succeeded. Wow. But, all right, sweet. even with that, uh, you do get the one that Griff hit, uh, and, uh, yeah. And you damaged the other two. They crack a little bit. You see some cracks forming along the crystal. Uh, you got them pretty good. Even though they dodged a little bit. Alright. Uh, this one uh, is a little bit bigger than the rest of them. Uh -uh. Uh, where, is, where is he? Where is he? Why am I not getting my mark? I don't know. Interesting. Is it this one? No. Is he dead? Where is my mark? It's not a dead one. No. Is this okay. token? Is this token not showing? Well, we can see it on the tracker, so it must be showing. Yeah. There's only uh, eight tokens on the map, and there's nine left in the combat tracker. Yeah, I'll just so drag it's it. Under, it's underneath one, maybe? Maybe oh, it's underneath maybe. one. Maybe. Maybe. Underneath Perrin, maybe? No. no. It was, they were along the wall. Okay, yeah. I'm seeing nine in the combat tracker and eight on the map. This yeah. yeah. Weird. I'm All just right, jamming token on again. Did you want to stay there, Pistolette? You could have. You could have. You still had twenty-five feet of movement. Sorry, I was on you. Yeah, I'm staying there. Okay, you're gonna stay there. I was just looking to see if I had a battle axe up the. Where is it? <laughs> All right. Uh, this one will fly over, and uh, it will attack you, parent. Oh, shit. Okay. I forgot you were so low in the order. All right. It, it lost up. proficiency in a random skill. <laughs> oh, no. So watch out now. Whatever. It oh, no. uh, fumbled. Uh -huh. It completely missed. Right. That's nice. Swordsmanship. That's the skill. Yeah. Right. <laughs> attacking. It lost profici <laughs> proficiency <laughs> in attacking. Yeah, so we get disadvantage now. Forever. Yeah. yeah. All right. This one's going after you, Lear. I figured. That's a miss. It just slices. You're able to dodge easily out of the way of that thing. Uh, this one... So they're like animated objects. I'm not going to give them advantage. Unlike these animated oh, object type they're deals. they're not like strategizing. Yeah, right. they're just... Okay. So... Uh, this is just a straight attack on you, Lear. Cool. Well, oh, it automatically gave advantage. All good. All right, let me put this advantage hang on. No, it doesn't matter. He hit, he hit you anyway. Okay. Do you want to put your thing on or no with uh, your reaction? Yeah, I'll use my reaction. Let me... Okay. Bear with, sorry. Uh, Got to remember where the heck it's at. I thought it was... Uh, Uncanny Dodge, where are you at? Oh, there it is. Sorry. Got it. All right. All right. Hit you for five. Reduce down to two. Good job. Okay. Parent. 
You're up. All right. I will bonus action Hunter's Mark. Okay. Getting a little and pixel. I will put Hunter's Mark on the little bastard just before we start. Okay. And I will whip out across him. And I'll give him the first pew of the day. First pew of the day. First Make it a good pew. Pew. Okay. First pew. That's a hit. 17? That's a hit. You won. Nine damage. Red Ambusher kicking in. All right. Two. No. Ooh, one. What did it roll to? Oh. Uh, I rolled six. to a seven, which is a 16, and that's a miss. Oh, okay. 17 so. it is. All right. We have another attack. Another, another one. one wow. That we rolled to a 14. Re to a 14. That's a miss. Wow, we don't like oh, this, do we? Um, that's it. I think that's it. I can do, right? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Uh, I don't think I want to move out of the way because I'll have three axes get a free whack, so I will end my turn. So again, these things out of there. <laughs> are not really strategizing, so you could probably move out of the way. They're not, they're not smart, right? Oh. They're just animated. So probably not taking they attacks wouldn't. of opportunity. Yeah, you probably so wouldn't that... take an attack of opportunity just because they're they, they only know to attack, right? Utilitarian. Okay, well then I I yeah. might sneak behind the tank then, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll leave it and like go come up and get pissed a little she can kiss on the cheek as well. well right. She's ten feet in the air, so good good try. You can kiss her feet maybe if you jump. Well, I mean, I actually, uh, I could climb the walls, right, if I wanted to, but... Well, I mean, if you want to. Ah, uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll kiss her later. Yeah, but... I'd let you. <laughs> All right. Uh, this battle axe. I'm going to let it. You're going to let it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're going to let it. And he's going to slash. It's going to hit. Shield. All right. Mark off the spell slot. Uh, yep. Pack slot. And... Where is my shield? Where is... Where are you? There we go. Bam. That's a miss. Nice. All right. Next one. Where's this guy? What's their movement? 50 feet! Ow. <laughs> yeah. This thing just comes flying at you. And he too Shield is up. going to take a longsword attack. It's going to have... Uh, that's a total mess. Okay. Next one. Uh, he's going to fuel. Um... He's going to go after you, Lear. You're more in the room than Perrin is. Okay. And, and Perrin's little. Yeah. Uh, he's going to hit you, Lear. Okay. For a whopping two damage. Woo. Nice. Watch out now. All right. And then this guy. Ooh. He went so far, he went right past you. He hit me on the way by. Yeah. He's going to slash. Ah, damn it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I hit disadvantage. Yeah, that's a mess. All right. Yeah, it's gonna, they're going to have a hard time getting through that shield. Yeah, I figured. All right, Lear, you're up. All right. Um, I'm just going to stay right where I'm at. Okay. Take steady aim. I don't need okay. to to get sneak attack, but it still gives me advantage on my attack, so... Okay. Gives me a better chance to crit. And With the rapier. Yep. That's a hit. Nice. Right. I would have missed without advantage. Jesus Ouch. Christ. Yeah. Ooh. That thing just breaks apart after you hit it for 35 damage. Smash. Yep. Jesus. That's awesome. 
Right. All right, that's your turn. Oh, yeah. I'll get one attack doing that though. That's <laughs> oh well. Still. Thirty-five damage. I mean, it's not like I get two attacks anyway. So I mean. <laughs> well, I could get an offhand an attack, but yeah. Well, I guess, I could, yeah, with a dagger or something, I guess I could. Yeah. All right, this one's going after you, uh, Griff. Okay. All right, here we go. Here comes a 20. Oh, Ooh. Jesus, I got triple. <laughs> this guy's attacking everything. Double super advantage. What yeah. the f <laughs> yeah. well, Did he hit anything? Uh, no, I'm trying this again. I don't know. Disadvantage. Right. Oh, he almost had a 20. Uh, but he did not, so he missed. Excellent. It missed. Alright, this one... Man, there's a lot of people there. Or a lot of... A lot of battle axes are flailing all over the place. Uh, this one's going to come at you, Lear. Okay. Alright. Oh my god! Stop! <laughs> That's a miss. You're able to dodge out of the way. And Flutterfoot. Uh, you just see him cartwheel <laughs> back towards the tomb. It's his turn. Griff, you're up. Alright, let's see. Um... Do something. All right, I don't really have anything fancy, just the usual. Squirrel. Yeah, I don't really have. Cleave. Where's the cleave? I don't have cleave. I don't pokey pokey. Cleave with a spear. I wonder how that would work. I don't know. Doesn't sound oh, so man. bad. Uh, I want to attack this guy here. All right, fine. And I'm just going to attack him. Okay. Come on. That's a hit. That's a hit. Ooh. Oh, you killed them. Nice. All Jeez. right. I like that. What do you mean? All right. So then uh, I'm going to turn and attack this guy. Okay. Do a big old spin around and come straight down. That's a hit. Oh, that's a hit. Come on. Big, big numbers. Big, oh, right. you're killing him. You're killing my guys. All right, and then I'm going to spin around again and bring the butt of my spear down on this guy. Yeah, they're just busting apart in all these crystals. Yeah, that's it. Uh, what do I got here? All right. All right. Did we, did we, did we, did we got, nice. Did we, I got a get some bit, damage. A little bit. All right. That's it You're for feeling me. yourself a little bit. Pistolet. Yep. <clears throat> Well, they were pretty good on their deck save. Well, let's yeah. try Constitution. How much Constitution does the sword have? Right. Or is Battle Axe, I should say. It might have a lot, considering it's just steel. It I hope not. Uh, it's a crystal. Oh, nice. it's not good. I, oh, it doesn't good. have much, apparently. All right, not bad. All right, that, that shatters Ooh. two of them. Nice. Uh, so that will get rid of that one. Speaking of which, I wonder what Shatter would do to Crystal. I just did that when that. Oh, well, it was Shatter. Oh, it was Shatter. Nice. Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Does it affect me, Crystal? Let me make sure. Um... Yeah, it has disadvantage on saving throw, so it would fail anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> it didn't do anything. Nope. Th well, don't Shatter in the. Because does it do double damage against inanimate objects? Well, I think uh, coming up. Yeah, these are animated, though. Well, yeah, but they're made out of... Oh, a non-magical object that isn't being worn and carry also takes damage to spell area. Inorganic materials such as stone, crystal, or metal has disadvantage, but it doesn't do, like, double damage or anything to it. Okay, okay I just wanted to make sure it didn't do, like, double damage. Okay, cool. Good job. Anything else, Pistolet? Nope. You're going to stay there? Yep. Okay. Baron. You're good here. I am going to transfer um, Hunter's Mark to the one just below me. Okay. 
And I'm going to whip out the battle axe. And I'm assuming because the leader's below me, I can swing with advantage? Uh, since these things, you really can't get advantage on them either. Because they're just inanimate. So, no. Oh, all right. Well, I'll still have I'll still try the battle axe for fun. For yeah. the advantage then. So, choppy choppy, number one. That's a mess. Oh, Karen is not rolling hot tonight, is he? What's that? Uh, make sure you right? target it. Uh, that is going to hit. Oh. Nope. Okay, targeted. I transferred yep. Hunter's Mark, so we should get this. Yep. And Hunter's Mark is locked. All yep. right, Nufski. Right. You hit it. You damaged and it. And that's it, Eric. Use my bonus action, so I'm done. Okay. Alright, this one's going after you, Griff. Alright. Slashing. He missed. I'm blocking. He right on your shield. Clang. This one. You know what? He's going to stick uh, to attacking you, Lear. Oh, he rolled a nat 20. Uh oh. You want to throw up your. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, nothing on the crit. Ooh. 16 reduced down to 8. Nice. Nice job. Alright. There's that. Lear, you're up. Alright. I'm going to return fire on that one. Okay. Steady you're going to poke him? you going to poke him? Yep. With the rapier. Alright. Come on. Oh, almost to 20. That's okay. Ooh. If he survives this, it'll be nice. Yeah. He will not survive this. <laughs> <laughs> it just breaks apart. Yeah, <laughs> oh, he actually had a lot of hit points, too. Oh, that was, that, was, that, the, was that the beefy one? The extra no, one? it wasn't. The but it says noticeably brittle. And oh. it had by far the most hit points by like 12. Wow. I, I moved down like here in the, in the hopes that the other one that's up there will come down toward Griff so Griff can take out all three. Okay. <laughs> uh, yep. This one is going after Griff. Uh, that's going to be a miss. And the seductive one. Uh oh. Oh. Kind of moves seductively over here. <laughs> right? At you, oh. Perrin. Sorry. <laughs> I was hoping you'd come to <laughs> And he's gonna go. Hey, baby. Ooh la la. Yeah. Take Break this. the battle axe. Here, take this. Is there such thing as a finesse battle axe? <laughs> I hit. He hits you. He slices you. Slices into you, parent. Oh no! Some axe on axe action. You're gonna take three damage. <laughs> oh no! And you failed your con uh, concentration. You lost Hunter's oh, Mark. Hunter. Hunter's Mark. Oh. Oh. He did his he did his job. Oh. Good job, seductive crystal battle axe. Oh shit. Distracted me just enough. Yes. Seductively hit you. And you're like, oh, okay. Uh oh, Flutterfoot. Hey, you guys done over there yet? <laughs> Do something. It's been ten seconds. Oh. Griff. <laughs> All right. Uh, That's what I... your mom said. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm killing a spring <laughs> All right, I'm going after the one that's wounded. I like the Schneeverblin. <laughs> the Schneeverblin. That's a miss. Oh, God damn it! All right. Nice try. I kill this fucking. Oh, that's a hit though. All right, good. Oh, that's the end of that one. That one's that one shatters. All right. Psh Nimble. Then I'm gonna go to the other one with the spear, okay. with the spear butt. With the butt, hit it with the with butt. The butt. Oh yeah. yeah, you hit it. You butted it. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, that's pretty Night good. Night damage. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty good. Um, yeah, that's what I got. Just a let. All right, I'll target the uh, Rico Swami. All right. It's moving, it's moving all seductively. Swaying all seductively. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna test his wisdom. Suave, you don't want to hit me. 
Oh, oh, I failed. They suck at wisdom too. Nice. Yeah. Not the wisest. He hasn't been damaged yet, right? Uh, he has not. Okay. Uh, somehow they're uh, they are not All resistant right. to necrotic. Uh, and Good. he's not as seductive as he's starting to. You see, like a little, like He's black rusting. mark all up the handles and on the accent. Parent. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna switch back to the tried and true. I've lost Hunter's mark, so we're gonna all go right. back to the three crossbow bolts so we can get them off. So right? you so. just crop in the battle axe on the ground to draw your hand yeah, crossbow. Like, you, God damn you, fuckers! Okay, you won. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a miss. He is man, seductively miss. Oh, that's a hit though. Right, there's wiggling. There's some damage. Let me just make sure I heard his mark yeah, turned off. I don't think I do. Yeah. Oh no, I do. It took it off automatically. Okay. Yeah, it'll take it off automatically. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, oh you, you, you kill them and seductively falls into pieces. <laughs> All right, there's bonus action. I'm gonna like the crossbow bolt is gonna whistle right by Griff's ear. Okay. I say aim for the other thing. And if I roll a natural one, you can have feel free to have a cope, get, get crap, but yeah, Griff, uh, is, Griff is gonna flinch as you do that, remembering being shot in the back last time. <laughs> that hits. That hits. <laughs> Alright, roll low. Come on, roll low. I rolled <laughs> yes. oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you asked for low. Yep. Oh, Alright, it gets one more attack. Alright, let's go. So bad. It's the last hurrah. Let's, let's roll a 20. Come on, Better net not. 20. Don't do it, you little shit. He missed. Oh, thank God. He missed. <laughs> <laughs> Lear, you're up. Kill this All right. thing. Steady aim. Captain Rapier. Oh, that oh, does yeah. hit. That's not going to survive. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's no rolling low on this one. No, there's no rolling low on 34 damage. <laughs> you get 5d6? Man. Jesus. That's ridiculous. Yeah, All right. a little rusty. Yeah. But I only get one attack. Everybody else gets two attacks. So that's oh! Right. Or three. <laughs> if you're parent, you get 17. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. There Flutterfoot's is. like, finally. Jesus, you guys are slow at fighting. Alright, uh, so the sarcophagus lid 18 is back. Or, or 18 seconds. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. Wait 20 it whole seconds. Even, it wasn't even that. It was 12 seconds plus a little bit. Yeah, you got like yeah. four cartwheels in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, the sarcophagus lid is back on the back on the tomb. Oh, it's back on? Yeah, well, you dropped it, right? You just I would assume you, as soon as you lift it up, it went, Hey! You dishonor our beloved king. May his tomb become yours as well. Then you guys just dropped it as the battle axe. And when axe you lift it up again, the other battle axes animate. No. The dwarves are staying in there without battle axes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Well, do we want to open it again? Or do we think we're... They're gonna manifest again. Oh, we're we're we want to open it. Of course we do. Get your asses over there, then. Whoever wants bad. to open it. I kind of feel bad, but All right, like, I'm, I'm... we went through the shit. Like we should look inside, right? Yeah. Yeah. You feel bad. Like, you it. know what? I oh, just got a cartwheel out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect. Here's gonna look around. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to do mine. You guys love ready actions in case something comes to life, right? No, I can't do that. Oh no! I'm oh, sorry, mine's open as I well. I slipped. Parents, All right, parents so parent, Jesus! <laughs> How did you get a plus yeah. five? Oh, that's not a check. You did a save. Oh, I'm sorry. Just a check. What's the difference? Uh, whatever. Well, you get a plus four. <laughs> you you don't the... get your yeah. Oh wow! Ah, yeah. oh, there you go. Nice. Yeah, still. <laughs> okay. So you guys lift this thing up, um, and uh, Lear, uh, you didn't notice oh. anything. Um, everything looks normal um, in here. Uh, you did notice with that, though, that the crystal panels 
can be pried from the walls. Ooh. Ooh. How big are they? Yeah. Sorry, say that again. My wife was distracting me. My apologies. Okay, so you, you, you guys are able to lift it. Distract me. Yeah, so you're... Uh, tell your wife that this is D&D time and that <laughs> distracting you is not allowed. Yeah, she you, actually you, should probably leave the house with the kids. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> yeah. And Griff, you just We're lost up. three viewers. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Her, we're going away for a few days tomorrow, so she's doing all the work packing up. I'm sitting here playing D and D, so yeah, I'm not going to say that. Okay. All right. So, um, where was I? Okay. So, a couple things. You're able to lift the sarcophagus lid, and as you're doing that, Lear kind of looked around. He didn't see anything. He didn't see any secret doors or anything, but he did notice that the crystal panels. So the I think there's what eight of them can be carefully pried from the walls. Um, you don't know how much they weigh or how much they're worth, but they seem like they could be worth something. Oh. Um, oh. And as you lift the uh, lid, uh, I assume you guys are going to set it down. Yeah. Inside the sarcophagus, contains tatters of a black shroud. The dust and bones of a dwarf lie in, and there's also, like, the bones of a mole in there as well. Like an animal? Yeah, like a mole. The fuck? Okay. Normal signs? Yeah. The, the mole is normal. The dwarf, um, it is... What? You never um, seen a dwarf with moles? <laughs> <laughs> moly, moly. There is bones. Um, and and they're, uh, they're intact enough. Uh, and it has, like, all its body parts. You know, all hands, all feet, head, neck. Did we, did we want to return a hand? Is that what they better recall? Uh, is this the king? Right? Is that is that what we're thinking? This was but this is behind the secret right. door, right? So the other one's probably like a decoy, and this is the real king. Not sure. I wasn't. I didn't. I wasn't in, in the other, or I wasn't online when you guys searched the, the other room. So I'm not sure. Is it the left hand or the right hand that we needed? Didn't say. I don't know. I think it just said the hand of our king, right? But this is just game. dust, though, right? No, this no is... there's there's actually bones. I mean, some okay. of it started to turn into dust, but it's... I'll say everything's intact, where if you sheared the hand from the, you know, the wrist, yeah. or if you want to take the whole friggin' arm, it would stay together. I don't know how that works. I don't know. It's DNT. I mean, I feel bad, but, like, this is what we need, right? Well, like, can we look around the room and see if there's any like or the sarcophagus like do we have reason to yeah Lear, Lear is... looked he didn't see anything uh, if anybody else wants to look he, not for like right, secrets but for case. like indications that this is the king like that, that it was hidden here instead of placed okay. out where everyone could see it. <clears throat> um so Perrin you don't find anything either um everything uh, you see that there is a the the lid is a regal looking. Uh, what did I say? It actually said. Um, they say uh, something about a crown. Uh, a black marble sarcophagus flecked with gold. Wow. Uh, and its lid is carved in the likeness of a dwarf king. Okay. So yes. All right, so I think this is probably the real king, and we need his hand. So I would, the vault. I would say, Griff, look away, and I will remove both the hands. Um, do I have any kind of thing? Yeah. Like, are you, are you offended by it? And don't want to see this? <laughs> um, like it it does definitely make me feel a certain way. Like, I understand that we have to do this, but I also, you know, like, I understand that this is not the most. But even the dwarves knew that that had to happen. 
because they set it up that way. That's true. You would think, though, it yeah. probably always had a king, right? Was oh. it yeah, I guess so. nation? Yeah. Um, the, uh, I think... the, body, the body itself, like, if we give it a once over, there's, like, there's no rings, or, like, there's no jewelry, there's nothing else uh, to value. Yeah, so you guys did perceptions. I'll count that in there. Uh, no, it doesn't... It, there's no jewelry, nothing. Uh, there's this, this black shroud. Uh, it looked like it was pretty nice at one time but it's it's kind of in tatters now um it it, it wouldn't be worth anything well i mean we can leave it here and come back if we need it but if we think we need bones then i mean aaron doesn't care to him it's just bones yeah i think we need the hand all right so where are the crystal panels i want to check them out yeah, so they're along the walls. Okay. Um, so if you want to try to like pry one, yeah. All right, roll I'll start me. Start checking them out. Uh, roll me if you want to pry one. Me a light of hand. <laughs> okay, sorry. If, if I help him, I if know. I help him, I'm proficient. Can he do it with advantage? Or it doesn't matter. He's, he's, gonna he's roll, got a plus he's thirty anyway. All right. Okay. <laughs> so as you pry one, uh, these things are pretty heavy. Oh. Um, okay. As you, as you pry it and you kind of grab it, they're they're about fifty pounds. Wow. We Griff, you want to carry these? <laughs> uh, like I don't know how many I can carry. Do we know what they might be worth? Do I know? Roll me. Uh, Investigation. Uh, let's see. Roll me intelligence. Uh, that is, yeah. I mean, intelligence is investigation. Yeah, I guess it is investigation, right? So go ahead and roll that. That's worth money. You need to be proficient to roll that, or can anyone roll that? Ah, uh, you could go ahead and roll it. That was a psychic guy if I needed it. Yeah. So, Lear with the psychic die, go ahead and mark that off. Okay. Um, they would have been worth a lot more with the crystal battle light because <laughs> it looks a little weird with a, a dwarf not holding anything. Uh, but you could, they're about worth about 400, Whoa. 450. But can you get that? I don't know. Again, somebody right, has yeah. to sell it, right? So it's about worth about four, 450 gold pieces. So we figure Is we can worth... get at least 25% of that. Is it worth the wait? Oh, uh, sure. I'll take one. We have a bag of holding. <laughs> no. Oh, but no. I mean, I, it's we been only fifty pounds. I've I've got a hundred pounds I can carry still, so I'll take one. Okay, how are you gonna? It's six feet tall. Uh oh. Oh, this is. Ah, oh, I didn't never know mind. that. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, no. Nope. Three right, foot mind. wide, one inch thick. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. That's cool. <laughs> never mind. I can just see parallel. <laughs> Just put a strap on the inside. Yeah, strap Use it, it to as my a back. shield. Is it is it solid? Will it act as a Pushed shield? Over. Yeah. Are, they all, <laughs> are they all the same? I mean, I'll I'll keep checking all of them. Yeah, they're they're all the same. They're all exactly the same. All right. Yeah, I don't think that's good. all right. So, I will take Not the good. hands, and we will put the thing back. Yeah, respectfully I'm gonna. I'll, I'll say in. a few words. I'll apologize to Helm. I'll say it's for the greater good. We're here to destroy evil. We won't use these. Man, you're tearing up that king. And he like does like some. Hey, he does some cartwheel speed. Don't be a little shit. Hey, you're the ones who are desecrating a king's tomb. Yeah, we're not dancing around about it. Okay. I'm gonna go up and check around here. Okay, like... so Perrin. Uh, yeah. We're doing it quietly. Where'd you That's, go? What's, what do you get to see? Uh, you can't see him. Shit, where'd you go? Oh, he's got the hand now, right? Yeah, he's got both hands. <laughs> so we oh, should... I'm gonna do I should... Do I get a... Uh, let me see if there's a... I don't think there's an actual item of that. Let me, let me see. I don't see one, but... Should we go back hand. to the vault? Uh, let's see. 
I feel we can keep looking around. Who cares? Well, oh, here we go. I got yeah. one. Here. We don't care about Skella, do we? Karen. Hang on. I'm going to give you some inventory. This is good enough. Hang oh. on. I'm going to make sure. Uh oh. Left, ah, here we go. Left hand, right hand. Yeah, we got two of them. The hand of the king. It's under desiccated hand. You have two of them. Oh, they're nasty. Whoa. That's not good. God, they're worth 200,000 gold each? Holy crap. Whoa. Right. Just kidding. So you got one of them? Uh, oh, he, he took both. Yep. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know whether or not we needed one or two, so... He missed his bony hand, so he's got them inside of his sleeve, so that we, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, right. Man. No more bony hands. Look at me. All right, so I'm, I'm sneaking up around the... Do we want to go back to the vaults? I was going to check up the top here, but if you want to go back, we'll go back. It's up to you guys. I'm in no rush to get back. I mean, I, I don't care about Skella. Do you guys? Not really. I nope. feel like... Okay, well... Stealthily walk down this like, hall. So you get there, Perrin. You see a pit, an mm -hmm. open pit to your south. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, and to your uh, east, you see an empty room. On the other side is a hallway of the pit. Where do you go, north or south? I don't remember. North. north. Oh. Went north. Okay, so quick look around in here. Okay. Staying, staying safely connected. Ah. Uh, there's a pit. Right there. Right by Lear. To the yep. south of Lear. That's why I stopped there so they don't go back too far. Mm, okay, Cartwheeling. So oh, what do you got going on in here? Oh, you little shit. Alright, did you I roll a uh, perception? Oh, Anything yeah, in the pit? I uh, is there anything in the pit as you're flying over it? Yeah. yeah. It's a... Tw <laughs> that really annoys me whenever Griff moves. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, yeah. sorry. <laughs> That's a what it ten, is. I kept losing... Yeah. <laughs> a 10-foot wide, 20-foot deep pit stands open between parallel corridors to the north and south. The springs... Uh, and you can see this. The springs that held the pit's cover shut have rusted to the point of malfunction, exposing the trap. All right, I'm going to reset it. Uh, the springs aren't uh, good enough to to hold the. I don't yeah, have anything in my in my kit. No springs. No. I'm know. stuck in the pit. You're stuck in the pit. But, You're dead. Yep. Sorry. I'm dead. <laughs> so it works. This room is a dead. No. This room is a dead end. Uh, yeah. So you. <laughs> You didn't see anything there, parent, in there. Nothing, okay. no secret doors, nothing. Well, I will uh, encourage there to have a quick look as well. Um, and then I'm going to uh, suggest, say to Buslet, hey, we can go, I can climb the, I can walk on the walls and the roof and we can go across the pit. We want to have a look. Larry, are you with us? I didn't hear he, he well, I didn't find anything in the dead end room, but do you want to have a quick look as well to be safe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. What's on the other side of the pit? Someone made popcorn and I can smell it, damn it. Hmm. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go steal someone's popcorn. Uh, Lear, you don't find anything. Okay. Alright. So... Was it 10 feet across? Yeah. Most of us can do a standing long jump that long. I was going to say, what's the what's the long jump rule? It's uh, 10 plus your modifier? Is that what it is? If you're standing? Or is it half that? I don't remember. But I, I thought it was quite either. a bit. Let's see. Five, Every time I look it up, I'm like, wow, you can jump that far? You're right. If you get a running jump. Right. Uh, 5e. A Up jump that covers the distance equal to the character's strength score if they run at least 10 feet before jumping. Yeah. Their, if, their score, not their modifier. but the character jumps while standing, they can only jump half the distance. 
Yeah, so your score. So you could yeah. do half of that if you're just standing. You have to run 10 feet. So you don't have 10 feet. You have five. Right. Well, if I, if I like, squish my back against the wall and then I run... No. 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 Can I, can I run down the hallway and get enough speed and then, like, jump like that? Off the wall. Whoa. Like I'm simulating. Catch-up. You're in the you're in the pet. I'm simulating. Um, that would require a athletics or acrobatics check. Are you the only one who can oh. go across? How tall is there, how tall is the roof? No, with a running jump, I like both Lear and I could make eight. it. Right. No, but I think Baron can walk on the walls. Right. I can fly. Yeah, I can do it. Lear. Yeah, you two can do it just fine. So and there's you and Lear that needs to. No, I, I flutter can, foot. Yeah, I can throw a psychic dagger yeah, and teleport. Oh, that's right. You can well, just teleport. Well, yeah. Okay. Let me go across. It's, it's so just I'm gonna cast. Uh, I'm gonna cast fly. On. Uh, on Griff. Are you sure? That's kind of a big one. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Having fun, aren't we? Yeah. What 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 about me? Flutterfoot says. You can wait here. Cartwheel your way uh, on the other side. <laughs> what? How? Or do I like this, it. and I'll throw a psychic blade, and it'll go. So I'll, sixty I'll flying speed for the next ten, ten minutes. There. <laughs> and like I'm stuck across. in the pit again. No, no, you're not. And let me get you across, Griff. There we go. So you left Flutterfoot. Yep. Come on! Ah! Are you coming? Guys! Just jump. You can make it. I can't make it. You might. I can't. I know. Hey, enough, you don't try. Why? Why would you leave me? I'm your friend. We didn't leave you. Come on! Remember in that last room when the swords came out? Yeah? When you left us? Yeah, I don't have a weapon. Right. No one gave me a weapon. And that's why it's safer for you to stay here. Because you don't have a weapon. We've already cleared that room. Go to the right. There's an empty room. You can wait in there. Do cartwheels. See how many cartwheels you can do in a row. Can I persuade him yeah. to go do cartwheels in that room? <laughs> Uh, sure. <laughs> Give me a persuasion. <laughs> Tell him we'll be back in 10,000 cartwheels. <laughs> That's right. Count out loud. He he just looks at you, and, he, and, he, and he's like, you guys are just going to leave me. Mm, we'll Unbelievable. Come, we'll come back. I thought we were friends to the end. We'll How much back. does Numbnuts weigh? Wait, we didn't leave him before in the end. He, and he, I mean, yeah. you know, we How much back. does he weigh? Shit. He yeah, weigh he's a gnome. I mean, the, the Griff could like easily carry him oh, across. Oh, can I carry him? Across, right? Oh, yeah. Or throw uh, him? I mean, you can fly still. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he weighs like, 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 like 60 pounds. I mean, he's not carrying really any equipment. Right. He weighs like he's got, 50 gnome, pounds. Right? He's got like Griff could probably oh. throw the cross. I've got like an extra hundred, and then I'm not. I'm still not even lift, push, drag. You you could fly him across. Oh, shit. And then accidentally drop him. I mean, whatever. Like he's not. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Accidentally drop him too. That's funny though. Yeah, he's can fly him across. Ooh. Accidentally drop him. You know. All right, come here, Flutterfoot. I'll carry you across. Okay. I'll look deep into his eyes. Yeah? I don't know. I'll bring him across. Okay, good. <laughs> I think Helm would have a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Helm would be very disapproving of that. I can almost hear the vo- the other voice. Do it. Do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do it. Do it. All right. You're across. Uh, there's... Uh, Hallway to your south there, Perrin. Uh, looks like there's a hallway to the south at the other end, too. 
Oh, we'll try door number one here. Sneakily, okay. sneakily, sneakily, sneakily. Yeah. The door There's here? a door in front of you. I will uh, listen at the door. Okay, roll me a perception. Into the tower. You don't hear anything. I will check the door for traps. You don't see anything, and it's not locked. All right, I'm going to open the door. Open the door. Unless there's any objections, I would open the door. I would wave the others forward as he was doing that. Okay. Stealthily, slowly open the door. Any reaction after I stealthily, slowly open the door? No. So, in the middle of this room rests a granite block eight feet long, three feet wide, and two feet tall. Sixty limestone urns rest in dusty wall niches. I will uh, tell the people I'm on end. It seems to be some kind of like tomb area with a bunch of urns. Oh, well, another around. door too. Uh, okay. Another door. There is a door. Yep. Perrin, so you look around. You don't find any secret uh, doors or anything like that. Um, as you're looking these over, um, each limestone urn is sealed with wax. Um, that is about all you get here. I want to look around. As, as I push Perrin off of me. How big are the urns? <laughs> uh, the urns are um, like an, a normal size, so I don't know. Uh, for you, it's probably somewhat large, but uh, for like um, Griff, uh, probably a, like a foot tall, you know, eight inches wide. Got it. Um, it has a. It does have a wide opening, so it's not like a small opening. It's it's like a wide opening. If you were to take off the lid, uh, it's a it's a pretty wide opening. You can see. If you want to take off a lid, it's up to you. Hmm. Of an urn. It's got a wax top. Yes, they're sealed with wax, hmm. and they're all limestone. What do we think those might be? Oh. Wine? That's why I did a perception check, but... Um, look around. They look like a, a normal... I mean, Lear, you, you're not really familiar with yeah. like dwarven funeral rites, but they seem like a normal urn. Oh, like a dead guy urn? So it's like the coroner's office. <laughs> That's, that's a good guess. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was joking oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I don't I'm feel the need to go disturbing. digging through more dead people. What's on this side of the room? Uh, There's... There's nothing. There's just urns there. all throughout. Oh, okay. There's 60 of them. Oh, I didn't know it was that many. Uh, Pistolet, what are you doing Listening. with the... Listening at the door. Oh. Um, you don't hear anything. Okay. Is it locked? Doesn't seem to be. I'll open it. Okay. There's a hallway. I'll giggle and get out of the way. <laughs> hey, what's in one of these urns? What, what? You guys didn't look inside? No, it's probably a dead guy. Oh, well, are you sure? No. Yeah, go All for right, it. Me, look. I'll open this up. Oh, Jesus. He just grabs okay. a random urn and he breaks the, the wax seal. He's like, oh, that's disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. Is he a dead guy? He starts wrenching. 
throws it on the floor and it no. cracks the urn. Oh, what are you doing, man? <laughs> so this it out comes desiccated organs. Oh, I just would you? And he cartwheels over. That's <laughs> disgusting. Know. You're disgusting. Get the fuck through that door. Let's go. All right, let's go. I can't. I can't. There's go. people in the way. There's people in the way. Go. There's people in the way. Where, are we, where am I going to go? <laughs> We're going south here. Yeah. Dumbass. No As he goes by. Okay, so you see... Um, kind of like a, a, a fork in the, the road there. there. Lear. Right. Sneak okay, into everybody here. just stop where you're at. Uh -oh. Does Make anybody sure have the alert feed? Uh, oh. mate, no, no, I don't think that we do. Okay. No, nope, we're in trouble. Okay, Lair. Did I go too far? Nope. Yep. You're perfect because they couldn't see you. Oh no! Oh. Of course not. You can't see them. They can't see you. So but when Lear. Lear comes around the corner. So Lear. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, so, um, Lear, he's going to get uh, a tack on you as a large greatsword of. Uh, come slicing down at you. Oh, jeez. Wow. And holding it, as he appears on his first attack, he does have advantage on the first attack. Okay. Um, <laughs> so let's see if this one hits first. So you can't do a reaction on this because you haven't had a turn. Uh, great sword. Huh? He actually misses. Oh, nice. And that? holding the great sword, so he gets he gets a free round, so he appears. Um, is Hollister Black Cloak? The fuck? And he's got this huge great sword, and he's going to get two more attacks on you, Lear. Uh, he does not have advantage on these, and then we'll roll for initiative. And you said I do not get a reaction? Yeah, because it's uh it's you haven't had your turn yet. Okay. Yeah, that's a so condition. this is his second attack. He does hit on this one, Lear. And he hits you for ten, and then his third attack is a miss. You're able right. to dodge out of that one. So everybody roll for initiative now. Okay. As Hollister Black Cloak is attacking you with a great sword. Pistolette, that's about right. Yeah. Baron, go ahead and roll for initiative. Yeah, sorry, it's for some reason it's slow tonight. Never change. Alright. So, guess who's up first? Lear. Alright. I am going to take steady aim. I had my rapier in my hand because I never put it away. You ate the peanut butter! Yep. What? Something. Do we? He always says that. Oh, yeah. That's going to hit him. Twenty-four damage. Ooh. And then I would say, Griff, get up here quick. I'm coming. Parrot. So shoot him in the back. Make sure he can't see you. Hang on a second. Maybe he just let you go, but let me make sure he can't see you, Parrot. Yeah, because that's going to affect my choice here. Yep, he actually can see you. He can see me. Yes. Okay. So he chose. All right. He chose to let you go through. Okay. 
I will not use sharpshooter as I was originally thinking. Um, I am just going to go ahead and get some pews off on him. Okay. So look, looks like Lear hit him. He's able to take damage. I think that's probably not the real Halister. Who knows? So pew. That's a hit. That's damage. Okay, Dread Ambusher effects. Okay. Second attack. You too. Uh, rolls, rolls to a 18. 27. <laughs> a 1 to a 27. That's a hit. All right, That's some, some damage. damage. Yeah. No, another one for fun. That is Does a miss. A hit? That's a miss. Okay. Bonus action will be another pew. That's probably going to be a miss. miss as well. Yeah. Okay. I end my turn. Okay. Griff? Uh, Alistair Blackcloak is attacking you. He's taking matters into his own hands. Um, ah. I'm stuck. Let me go. Okay. Um, okay. Can I jump up and grab Pistolet by the leg and drag <laughs> her down the hallway? <laughs> funny as hell. <laughs> I'm a guide now. <laughs> well, you're flying, right? Yeah. 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 You're flying. Uh, how long awesome. did it last? Ten minutes? Yep. Yeah, I'll say you're you're getting close to the end because you were doing inspections and everything in that other room. Okay. So you're getting close. you probably got about a minute left. Yeah. All right. So you're dragging so, Pistolette? Yeah. Can I grab her by the leg and pull her down the hallway? <laughs> So uh, yeah, it's torch. I'll, I'll say it is double movement, but yes. <laughs> That's okay. awesome. Yeah. Right, so ten. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad I picked the. Kids. Okay. All right. I'll let her go. Okay, you let her go yeah. there. Yeah, All right. I'm letting her go there. All right. So ten, <laughs> fifteen, <laughs> twenty, twenty-five. Oh, well, oh. there we go. Right, now I can see him. All right, and I'm just oh, gonna stab nice. him. All right, let's go in for some stabbing action here. Yeah, yeah. Don't hit my oh. That's a miss. That's a that's a miss. All right, uh, I'm gonna. You're terrible. Around. I know. That. Stop. Oh, that hit me. Yeah, I bet you like that. Mm. Oh, it tastes so good. You hit like. You hit like a little fairy, though. No, and I'm going to smash him in the face with the spear butt. Okay. That's <laughs> a hit. If I don't That's roll, a hit. If I don't roll a one. Oh! Wow. Try to break my beautiful face! Yes! Alright, that's it for me. Okay. Why are you hurt? trying to hurt my friend? What, we didn't what are you eat... doing in my hallway? We didn't eat the peanut butter. Get out of my hallway! We're, we're trying. Let us go. All right, Flutterfoot. He's like, huh? Flutterfoot, help. Up, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Don't leave yeah. us. Don't abandon us. There you go. That's his Thought we were friends. All right. <laughs> Hollister Black Cloak's up. He starts <laughs> casting. Oh, no. Can I stab him? Oops. Can you stab him? <laughs> Stop him you already casting. did. I know. Go ahead. <laughs> he starts casting. I don't like it. I can't cast counter spells, so. I don't have it. Oh, that hurts my feelings. Okay. Why? We didn't eat the you peanut butter. You literally dragged me into this. <laughs> 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 Alright, it's gonna target three, you guys. Well, shit. And it's. It's a boom boom. <laughs> he casts fireball. Yeah. Come and here on, we go. Saving throw. <sighs> Maybe sorry. Sorry, Mr. Alright, well, you got evasion, Lear. You're good. You have absorb elements. Doesn't even go to hit fear. Sorry, uh, Pistolette. What does absorb elements do again? 
You take half damage. I think you take half damage. I'm gonna use that. Okay, so you would not take the full 27. That's a reaction, correct? Yep. Pistolet. All right. Okay, so uh, let me just. Oh, right. That one missing. And Griff oh, drops to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. So absorb element. Resist. Hit it. Oh, you failed your concentration. <laughs> Shit. Yes. So you failed your concentrations uh, on uh, Griff. Uh, oh. As you rolled the five. Right. Uh, I so five I, I reduced that down to 13 pistolet. Uh, so you only take 13. You can take that absorb elements off. Um, as I think it'll, it's uh, only a one time. All right. right. Yep. Mark off the this, this, this spell slot. Yep. Yep. Mark off the spell slot. You take mm -hmm. 13. Uh, Lear, you should have taken zero. I think you only didn't take anything. And then, Griff, you take half, which was 13. But you do fall to the ground. Um, roll All me two, a two d6. It was only five feet. You're only five feet? Yeah, it's one damage. All right. So you can take one damage and you're prone. Sure. Okay. So uh, let me put the prone effect on you. Uh, and there you go. Take 14. Lear would say, it's just fire, get up. Jesus. <laughs> Prone. There's my really dramatic roll. Take it out of the way of the fire. Yeah. All right. Cool. And that is Hollister's. Uh, wait. Hang on. How much did you guys hit him for? Uh, you you see actually Hellister heal. What? He was he healed at the start of All his right, turn. Buddy. Okay. That's his uh, that's his turn. Pistolet, mm -hmm. you're now up. You don't have yeah. to worry about that pex pesky concentration spell anymore, at least. Oh, yeah. yeah, sorry about that. Oof. Did we lose Baron? Did we lose Baron? No, oh, he's down there. He's down the hallway. Yeah. Big hallway. A few. Well, I guess Halister can see him, so it doesn't matter if you expose him. Yeah. Yeah. Halister yeah, can track I all. Can't see him. You'll hear me. There he is. Okay. Oh, there he is. Oh, looks like he's at 30 feet, right? Yeah. Maybe. I'm gonna cast haste on him. Okay. Ooh. Uh, no, that's not the right one. That's the right one. You're targeting yourself, too? Oh. Yeah, it's a bonus. Okay, oh, cool. Comes with it. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. He's catching up. <laughs> what? Uh, what? I was like, oh, I'm over here like, what? I'm trying to read what Hollister can do. <laughs> Two, three, four. Game over. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I already did. There we go. Done. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Larry, you're up. All right. I am going to skirt around. I'm assuming since he's animate, we can yes. do the that way. Yep. So yes, I just can. move around <coughs> without disengaging and ah, you're not fighting very fair no not at all uh, <laughs> jerk face not after a fireball oh ah that hurt stop 
That really hurt. And then... I don't have any bonus action shit. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't have any bonus action. Can't do bonus stuff. I don't. Oh, <laughs> you can take out a dagger and stab him with the offhand, dagger, right? Offhand, yeah. Hold on, maybe. Do a psychic blade or something. I can't do a psychic blade bonus. I have to do it as a primary first. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you have a dagger you can take yeah. out and stab yeah. him. Here's my offhand dagger attack. Oh, boy. A little rib shot. A little, little. That's a mess. I've never done that before, so I didn't know how to do it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Take a left handed kind of shot. Yeah. Yeah. I, I tried to throw it. Like, I clicked the next actor. There it goes. I was going to say, I clicked it. Nothing happened. Perrin, you're hasted, so you have an additional action, which is. Is it just one attack, though? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's just one attack. extra attack, too. Okay, so I can't like cast a spell for free instead, can I? No, you can. It is okay. an additional action, but the action can only be one attack. Like, as, if you take the attack is, action. Like, I'm, I'm kind of confused. Like, I'm assuming that, like, we're going to beat him up for a while and he's going to run away or it's not really him. It's, it's, it's a projection of him or something. Like, like is this an all-out, you know, use I'm, our I'm, maximum stuff that we have? Or? I'm about to use <laughs> oh. up some shit because yeah. he seems like he's trying to hurt us pretty bad. Right. So, I here, mean, here's, I can... here's a couple things. Uh, as you're fighting him... He's not carrying a staff. He's got a great sword. Right. His robe is a normal robe. Oh, it's not the eyes? It, it doesn't have the eyes. What the fuck is this? It's like a clone or something, right? Either way, I'm going to... Shapeshifter. I'm not... I was thinking about casting the wolves. That they could wear, but I'm going to put the hunter's mark on them. I mean, he doesn't look like he's even halfway, and that was no, yeah, yeah, he's, pretty he's big still shot beefy. From Lear, so I'm guessing he's. I, I'm like I said, I'm about to use some resources, so I think right. one round. Right. If we can take him out before he gets another turn, I think that would be a good idea. All right, that hits. All him. right, so, all right, I, I've got bonus action hunter's mark. Yep. Uh, if we're gonna, if we're burning some resources here, then I'm gonna make him a favorite foe as well. Okay. So I'm putting favorite flow on. Checking out one of those. Oh, you, you're bringing out all the attacks. I see how you are. You're dangerous. You're little, yeah. That's a you're sign little of shit. respect. Little shit. Um, and I'm also using the uh, the magic, the drow possible bolts as well. Okay. So CB's impervious. Oh, wow. so CB's impervious to those. So oh. I'm going to try to hit him with one of those. Jesus Christ, so, man. You fucking knock it off. I well, didn't roll very good damage there. All right, you hit him for ten. Um, hang on, I gotta look at something. I gotta find, I gotta find the drow bolt. Let me know if you want me to roll that too. Yeah. Uh, drow poison. Drow poison. Let's see. Damn. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Save? go ahead. Uh, go ahead and roll it on him. Whoa. Oh, I don't know why it rolls so many Whoa. times. Whoa! Nice. Why did it roll so many times? It's like, yeah. He passed, though. Yeah. That's bizarre. He, uh, we'll take the first one. Okay. I don't know. Apologies, I don't know what happened there. But yeah. either way, he's going to get a second draw crossbow bolt. Okay. Ooh, that one missed. Though. Damn. And another one. That missed. Damn. I am not rolling well, guys. And I'm assuming, so bonus action, two attacks, and the haste attack, right? Yep. You get your right, hasted action like... now. That was the haste that attack. Was the that oh, was the haste action. I'm going yeah. kind to of seek around the corner here and get out of his line of sight and, like, I bury my head in shame. I can't roll over shit tonight. <laughs> yeah, you better run, you little crap. You little poop. <laughs> You're a little poop. It looks All like right. he's hurting, though, so... Yeah, he's like finally terrible. he's finally he just went over heavy though. Yeah, looks like you were doing a little bit to him. We did 
you know, 50, 60 <clears throat> points of damage to him already. Right. So what do you got there, uh, fat boy? I'm gonna fucking hexblade you. I'm gonna curse him. I'm gonna give him the uh, old hexblades yeah, curse. Yeah, curse me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, fat boy. I'm Let's gonna. go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shove Peter Butter down your throat. You do that. I will. I'm gonna shove the spear up your ass. Ooh, <laughs> now you now you're getting <laughs> which spear? The one in your hand or the one? Oh, yeah, this mind. one right here. Oh, that hurts. Why do I have disadvantage? Oh, can I stand up first? Yeah, if you want to stand up. <laughs> That'd be great. You're not doing all this on the ground? <laughs> yeah, no. I'd like okay. to stand up. Uh, it's still a hit. Oh, yeah. Well, roll? you should be flanking. Go ahead and roll again. Okay, just a single one. Yeah, well, just it, a single I, one. It's probably going to... I'll roll with disadvantage because it's probably going to yeah. know I have advantage. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right, so yeah, it's okay. not a 20. Yeah, they, all right. they both hit. So. Uh, I'm going to hit him with a... First level. Oh, yeah, give it to me, big yeah, boy, fatty. Come on, fatty. Yeah. Uh, oh. Hey. Okay. All right. Hey, and stop that. Stop. Curve. Stop putting all those wow. extra things on you. How many times are you gonna hit me? That many. Nineteen damage. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then so wait, was that? Uh, burn another attack? spell slot. How many spell slots you got? Did I miss my first one? Or that was my first attack. Okay. That yeah, was your first attack. Okay. Second one should be with advantage. All right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It should automatically do it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, let's see yes. the second attack. There yep. we go. There we go. That's a hit. Whew. Um, I'm not going to smite on this one. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Uh, so, you little, still uh, 13. You uh, and 11. I already used my bonus action, so that is my turn. How did you get a plus 11? I have magic spear now. It should be a plus Wait, nine. It's not a plus Huck. eleven, is it? Why is it a plus eleven? Oh, damage. Everything else has been at a nine. Yeah, why yeah. is that? Exploit curses damage four, so that's four more to whatever you normally oh, are. Oh, that's what that is. Dueling's damage two, so that's yes. six total. The damage, yes, that's right. Oh, Hexbake's Curse gives you extra damage, too? Yeah, it's it's a uh, proficiency bonus number of damage, ah. so it's plus four now. And crits okay. at 19 now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And that's All right. It. Flutterfoot's up. Nothing. He's doing nothing. I keep running. All right, you see, you see Hellister, uh, he heals. No, he still healed? Yeah. Damn it. A little bit. I was hoping the radiant would stop it. Mm. I guess not. Let's see. Hmm. It's like, well, that didn't really work very much. The, uh, the personal, you hit us first. Uh. Okay. Okay. Fine. Are we good? Yeah, we're we're great. We're cool. He turns invisible. I don't like that. Uh, I'm listening. If he if you if he moves, I'm gonna stab him. <laughs> if I can. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I hear? It's on a target you can see, so I haven't been playing it like that. But oh. it's like. Is it, on a target you can see, yes. I, I'm pretty sure a reaction attack is on a target you can see. Uh, opportunity. I will say I have right. ne I have been playing it. With, I was in another game, and they're like, oh, you can't do that. Uh, let me make sure. Uh, yeah, you can make an opportunity attack when a hostile creature that you can see moves out of your reach. Yep. So, yep, I've been playing that wrong. I wow. apologize, but I'm playing it right now. Shit, I've been playing that wrong, too. Yep, so. Um, but you can still hear, right? Right. So if you want to use a bonus action on your turn to discern, it would be a perception check of kind of which way... This, where the, which way Hollister is going, so that is 
Alistair's turn. All right, Pistolette. Hmm, that's no fun. Not much I can do. Oh no. Without you want to roll a perception check? It's a bonus action to see if you heard him move by you at, at all. You can do that if you if you want. It's, yeah. it's it would yeah. okay. Might as well. So maybe you want to do fairy fire, maybe? Pistolet with your perception. You didn't hear anything or feel anything. You're pretty certain he didn't come your way. If I fairy fire, I have a chance on two and I'll drop concentration on the haste. And that will knock oh, Perrin right. out. That will make him yeah, comatose for a round. Sorry, why am I coming to right. us without the haste? Oh. So, after Release. haste drops, yeah. you are stunned for a round. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, oh, do we need to do? Very fires concentration, so that's what she's saying. Right. Yeah. And his greatsword is magical, right? <clears throat> uh, it's, um,. Uh, I don't know if you would know that. Um, let me see here. Uh, he hit it. He did hit Lear with it. Um, let me see here. It did seem Lear. You you got a little jolt that the the great sword <laughs> could have been magical, or something of it was causing it to be magical. How's that? Right, yep. You're not sure. If it's magical, something's causing it to be magical, whatever. Yeah. Again, that's concentration. The idea was to cast Detect Magic to see if I could see anything within 30 feet. Anything magic should faintly glow. Good idea, but it's the same thing as haste. Yeah, the there's a couple of things I could do, but I would drop the haste on on Perrin, and he would be exhausted for a round. Um, do we? If it's if it makes sense, and I'm good with it. Like, I mean, he might be coming my way, and might be able to slice and dice me, but I mean, it is what it is. He would have advantage on all his attacks against you if if he came that way. If if she drops haste. You don't know that you'll even catch him if you cast it. Mm. I use my action to expose him. I can't catch him. Everything's concentration. Okay. Mm. What about another shatter? Could you hit him with a shatter? Uh, yeah. I, have a meta, I have a meta question for you that, that is relevant here. With Hunter's mark on him, yep. I'm assuming I would have knowledge, he turns invisible, he starts moving, I would have knowledge of his direction. Is that fair to say? Where he's going? Yes, you do. 
I, I so, was quite a good idea to sh share that with the party. Okay. So here's a couple things. One is the tech magic won't locate an invisible creature unless they're wearing a magical item, right? So and the, right. the great creature's not magic. Right. You're you're not a hundred percent sure that the great sword is magical, or if there's something or hmm. Yeah, I'm let's just say that I'm using the spell that I think would have the most chance. Right? Fairy yeah. fire is basically a shot in the dark. Shatter is very small radius. So detect magic at least gives me thirty feet and I can move. So So I don't know. Um Wait, how am I gonna how am I gonna do this? Um His His attacks are magical, his sword is not. As weird as yeah, that then sounds. I wouldn't detect. Yes. So I'll give that information. Wow, you're um, generous tonight, right? I know, right? Um, and then Perrin, uh, throw Hunter's Mark again in there, please, into the chat. You know, it's okay. I, I checked it. I get advantage on um, ability checks to find them, like for perception, but there's no okay. nothing innate that I don't have to roll on. I thought for some reason... I thought wrong. Yeah, I thought, Maybe it's yeah, I thought you could. I thought there was something with a ranger. Track like them with hunters. Yeah, I think that's the old uh, third edition hunters. Oh, is that? You used to know the general direction they were in and all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, they really nerfed it up. Yeah. They really yeah. hate rangers in five e. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's yeah, I old. I didn't, stuff. I didn't see anything. Because I always brought that up too, because AD and D was the same way, yeah. and I was like, "You should know the general direction." And my DMs would be like, "No." <laughs> yeah, I, I have an advantage on checks to help me find it, but I mean, I don't think it's going to yeah, help much. I mean, that's helpful, <laughs> right? You can take a bonus action right. to see if you can see where he is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so you time. could do that. Um, so my turn yeah, now, pistolet. So. I, I, the tech magic. I'm just going to say uh, again. It would be a waste of a spell slot. Well, it depends on. There might be other magical items in here. I don't know. It lasts for ten minutes. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it anyway. Okay. I wouldn't drop concentration if you don't. Right, have to. you can, you can shatter without dropping concentration though. That's that's the only advantage with that one. Small radius. Yeah. Yeah. Ten foot radius. Four, two, three. Um, I was reading. What's the What's the end result on that hunter's mark thing? Does uh, he know where, where he is? Oh, he no. Can, he no. can he can roll with advantage on his turn to see if you know if it maybe ran by him. Um, that would be the perception. So he would have advantage on the perception to see if yeah. this. This, if Hollister ran by him. Here, I'm going to smell him. Or... Okay. Yeah. And what's this way? Why is there a blackness? Huh? Is that a full corridor? Does it actually... Yeah, it goes through? all the way yes. down. It goes I can, all I can the way see down. All the way down. Yep. Why can't I? Oh, I it's... see all the way to there. My limited mm -hmm. vision. Yeah. Yeah. It's your torch. Your, your light spell is only giving you... Should give you. Okay, so he was here, he went invisible. Yep. It's not there now. Yeah. That's fireball. Okay. So, is that where you're putting it? I'm gonna put it on the corner. So it's a wand, so it's no concentration. Okay. And yep. at least it's double the range of a shatter. Okay. Um, heads or tails? Yeah. Didn't work. Why did it come up? 
<laughs> All right. What? That's weird. Roll it again. You said tails. Yep. Yeah. Roll it again. I, nothing came up. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So the you use the wand and um, nothing lights up within the that area. Okay, like it's you not don't see a silhouette. Guys. Yeah, you, you <clears> don't <throat> hit anything. So just mark off a charge. Done. Yep. Okay, Lear. Uh, All right. That's my fault. Yep. Hold it. If I need that, three more. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say that th you're going to have to use the three. Okay. So mark off one of those. Um, he did run by you. Which way? This way. Okay. But you too didn't see anything light up within the her spell. Like but he her. Probably didn't run that far. He probably real close. So I can't perceive where he might be based on his movements or nothing like that? Now you know where he is down the hall. Or, or, I mean, you know he ran down the hall, but you're not exactly sure where. Throw a psychic blade right down the hall. Yeah, I'm going to throw a psychic. I'll, I'll use my interaction with an object to sheath my uh, rapier, and then with my primary hand, I'll, I'll fling a psychic blade right down the middle of the hall. Uh, okay. I guess I'll just roll, and I use uh, my bonus action to perceive, so I can't. Yep. Yeah. So roll with. Um, I'll have you target. Are you targeting them right currently or no? Uh, no. no. Okay. So roll with disadvantage. I, it should automatically roll with. The, um, no, I'm not targeting. Oh, I am targeting now. Yeah, okay. I, I put you on it. So roll with disadvantage on the attack. Okay. He's somewhere down that hall. It just the the blade goes right. Hold on. Doesn't hit anything. Hold on. Hold on. Five more. Ooh. Uh, you're using one of the. Yep. Psychic blade. And it is called. Power plus. Uh. Psychic powers. How many of these do you have? I have three left. Oh, God. I have, I have uh, eight of them, I think, now. So, so, anyway, so underneath of my psychic blade is... Damn it, I forget what it's called. Soul blade. Yeah. Homing strike. If you make an attack roll with your psychic blades and miss the target, you can roll one of your sonic energy die and add that number to your roll of the attack. If that causes the attack to hit, you expend one of your die. If it misses, you don't expend it. Okay. So, uh, you hit him. Awesome. So, you see the, 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 the blade disappear... Right there. Okay. So roll pistol lead. Okay, good. Uh, uh, let me let me just explain this. He's right on the edge of that where well, you did. That's, what I that's why. Yeah, that's why I did heads or tails. Yep. He he was able to lean back, but yeah, you hit him. Um, go that's ahead and I roll put damage. It on the right. I wanted you to move it to where it should be. Yep. It's cool. All right. So yeah. you good, good to roll damage then? Yep. Go ahead. I don't have to sneak attack or anything because I, I had disadvantage on the attack. But yeah. All right. Uh, that hit him. Right. You hear a howl of pain. All right. So I still have movement though. So I'm going to go five, ten to here. Is is there blood or anything? Is there anything like visible no. that? You remember his fireball. Lear's like, whatever, I could have made that shit. Yeah. yeah I could have, but... I, and I would uh, psychically state where 
my psychic blade disappeared so that way everyone noticed it without having to pay attention yeah so my turn you you know the general vicinity is he's right. in he's still invisible it'd still be a, a disadvantage but you right. kind of know where he is okay so i've got haste on now question for you yeah with the hunter's mark and with leader's um general advice of where he is yeah could i roll like a, as a bonus action could i roll a dice to kind of zero in where i think he might be or is it still a disadvantage no matter what yeah it'd still be a disadvantage just because he's he's invisible okay so i'm gonna do four attacks at disadvantage okay let me <laughs> uh have you target so he's targeted now so go ahead and roll <laughs> Okay, yeah, because I've already got Hunter's Mark on, I've got Haste, so I get three plus the, the bonus, right? Yeah. You do? All right. And if I, if, I, if I hit him, does that affect things, or does that... It's all... Okay, either way. I don't know. Oh! This yeah, he needed to do a concentration. Thank you for that. Hang on. Oh, because uh, you hit him. Damage. That's right. yep. He did take yeah. damage, yep. Uh, oh, so let's yeah, do very good. He appears. <laughs> oh. oh! Well, hello! Hey, bud. Hey! Uh, no, no, let's not be hasty! <laughs> no, I you think you don't have disadvantage oh, now. Yeah, you don't is, have disadvantage. Yeah, okay, I think he buddy, actually so is that? hasty. Hey, let's not, hey! Alright, so Pew let's one. be cool, Pew guys. Street roll. Oh, that hurts! Two. Some damage. <laughs> hey! Hey, we can, we can talk this out. <laughs> That's a miss. Hard miss, right? Two, three. Oh no! Oh my! God. Oh, I don't have to worry about it. You're shooting like shit. I can't more shit. That's a hit. Oh. Oh. Eleven. He's still only heavy though. Oh man. Twenty-five is not bad. <laughs> so close. Right. I just have to hit him a couple more times. You guys can see him, so it should be fine, right? So, yeah. You guys can see him. Griff, finish him off, man. Yeah. I'm Actually, you know, with my with my 20, movement, twenty. I would probably, I because I've hasted, I can move down here. Yeah. Because we're all. Yeah. Hey. I don't think we hey. Want to bundle up in case. You can eat all the peanut butter you want, man. Just hey. Yeah, we know. Just don't. Just don't. I look. I mean, he is. He's fucked up. Yep. He's about to get more fucked up. I'm going to stab him. Nothing hey. personal, Halster. Hey! I hey! We're going to be seeing hey. you again. Don't do it! Don't do it! Yeah, this is happening, buddy. Oh, he's dying. <laughs> so you stab him. <laughs> and, you know, you get him right in the chest. And as you stab him, um, he um, he's like, "Oh, oh, you're an asshole, man." Yeah. And he, you, you did attack us first. Maybe. maybe. He <laughs> turns into this thing oh no ah and dies oh clear has what no idea it? what that is but brian knows <laughs> so what, you've like seen a, a green one or i don't see anything oh that's right yeah he didn't see it what do you mean you don't see anything oh, I, I'm, right, I'm done around the corner i can't see oh. i don't see a picture you don't see a picture no yeah a picture popped up for me yeah it's probably behind uh, oh, your oh there it is oh there it is it's hiding that's pretty high, oh, probably that's behind your map. He's okay. a, what the fuck he's is an that? Ugly fucker, isn't he? What is he? So, you saw a green the one of these. Perfect gone wrong. That you allowed loose the water deep. Yeah. The, oh, um, a slot or the something? The alchemist yeah. guy. Slot. Yeah. This one's gray. Huh. So, we're, we're out of combat now? Yeah. Oh, we'll come up and have a look at this dead thing. Uh, I feel better about killing this thing. Yep. Oh. I get my. He's dead. I get my. Uh, I'm going to suck, suck nice. his life out. Yeah. 
Oh, shit. And get some crossbow bolts back, too. Yeah, uh, you want to check the carcass to see if he has anything interesting? Yeah, for sure. Uh, he's like got a, a great sword. Magical long sword. Uh, That's not magical, though, is it? It's not magical. It's not. It's just a great sword. They're like oh, that sword. Get that magical, you're still great. I mean, I'll hold on to it. Uh, you want it? I suppose. It's a, it's it's a nice one. I mean, it's, it's good normal. condition. It's not like yeah, it's it's solid. I mean, it's not it's not worth any more than a normal great sword or less. Oh, it is a great sword worth. Uh, a great sword is worth fifty gold pieces, and I mean, it weighs six pounds. That's pretty good. Imagine gold to weight that ratio. Shit. That's pretty good. There you go. All it's right. in your uh, inventory. All right. All right. Cool. You killed him. Yep, we did. I'm not sorry. Got a hallway. Uh, Going that way and the hallway going south. All right. Uh, do we think that guy was killing all those people? Or do we Probably. think there might be more? Although we haven't seen any dead dwagger. But it did sound like this. But. And we're uh, like. Yeah, I guess you don't know a whole lot about slots. Uh. No. Yeah. I mean, he did turn invisible, so. You know, they said it was invisible, so. Yeah. And the other thing is, there might be more than one. That's what I was wondering. Do we, do we think this one guy That's killed scary. everyone? Right. That's scary. They want to be jumped by five of these guys. Right. Uh, yeah, you want but to I did get this far, and I can see that it's like a some kind of opening down here right yeah there there is like a uh a, a, a bigger room all right we, shall we keep going well i think we should at least continue i will stealthily come down here okay until yeah, i can get a grab this poor griff ah oh, god damn it what griff what I do in your movement sends everything to the damn back. Oh, I know. I my, know. my aura. Just your aura. Can they just put those in fantasy grounds? Thanks. I know, right? Yeah, it's actually a big. People are pissed about it. It's... All right. Uh, all right. What is going on in here? So, uh, Perrin and Lear, yeah. you can see this <laughs> chamber has a flat 30-foot high ceiling and 10-foot high tunnels exiting to the west, south, and east. Alcoves to the north hold four identical statues, each one bearing the likeness of a 10-foot tall dwarven king of stern visage. It looks much like the, ones, uh, like the one you saw on the lid of the sarcophagus. Um, the, a torn tapestry hangs from an iron rod mounted to the south wall. So here, um, the tapestry depicts, uh, I don't know if you would know, but a king and his guards fighting a bullet in a gem encrusted cavern. Fighting a what? Sorry, a, it sounded like bullets to me. Fighting a boulette in a gem encrusted cavern. Okay. Um, I'll walk in and have a better look around the room. Okay. When you get there. Uh -oh. Sherman Square. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Nothing happens. Uh, now, dramatic pause for effect. Now, once again, wizard, wizards of the coast. Fantastic writing. Okay, <laughs> so you move there, Perrin. Yep. I'm going to have everyone roll for initiative. As the no. As the statues animate, Ooh. and yes, the statues animate. Sure. So, um, everybody roll for initiative. Get Flutterfoot. Oh my god. You roll the one. Good job, Flutterfoot. Okay. Flutternuts. And let me get. Boy, they, they, they really messed up this room. Um. Basically, they'll tell you how anything happens here. Okay. That. Let's do this. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Okay. Put the, on the map. Then we can have some fun. So, dumb question. Yeah. Um, would they see me? If did it, did, I don't know. That I mean how the room is written, but like, if they can't see me, or is it? Did they just magically sense me, or is it when I come in and feel the vision? Because if they can't see me, then. So when you stepped in the middle of the room, the. The tiles broke away. Yep. It they crumbled under your okay, weight. Okay, so it was all right. So it was a noise, a noise type thing that they heard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll find so, out whether or not they can see me shortly. Yes. So they animated, and what's their movement? Because right now I don't think there's any light on me, so I'm curious. So this one goes. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and stops there. What are they doing? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and then dashes. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Lear, you're up. Uh, I don't see anything, so... Uh, oh, now I do. <clears throat> That's within range. I'll target that. Oh, it's a statue. So is it still stone? It is. It, it probably not going to be... So, uh, I'm going to still try. Okay. That is a hit. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. But oh, uh, let me uh, let me take that off of it. Hang on. Okay. I the bonus Go ahead. One. Oh, okay. Roll normal damage then. Nice. Yeah, it didn't seem to do anything to it. That's what I thought. Uh, I'll go ahead and draw my. Um, ooh, longbow. Okay. And. Oh, 
I don't see. Yeah, because you're not holding a weapon, right? You just kind of manifest those things. It's a natural yeah, yeah, ability. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I it's literally just yeah. draw my longbow at that point. Yeah, um, so it's a free item interaction. Yep. Yeah. Now, if I switch from that one, it it would be yeah different. But all right, uh, I don't even know what else I can do. I don't have any bonus action things. I'm not. Hey. Again with the bonus action thing. I know, right? <laughs> the bonus stuff. Karen. <laughs> Karen, you're up. Uh, I'm kind of. I don't know what's going on here. Um, I'm going to. One, two, three. This one up here. Yeah. I'm going to. Bonus you. action transfer Hunter's Mark to it. Okay. So the hunter's mark is still active, right? Yes. That lasts up to an hour. Yep. So let me put that back on. Um, I am going to... I don't think my crossbow is going to do much damage. We can see you from here. Swing I don't know if that matters. To what you're going to do. Oh. Oh, because the light? Oh, shit. That's the light, yeah. When I was here... When I was here, could you not see me? No. Nope. I can't see you. Okay. Then I'm going to do my attacks, and then I'll do my movement. Is that, is that fair? Okay. Yeah, that's fair. I think I was here, right? Yep. Um, okay, putting Hunter's Mark back on. You have it on twice. Oh, for God's sakes. There. There you go. <laughs> I could try and do a, a steady shot. So... Am I rolling with advantage? You are. Okay. Then we're going to try the minus five special. Okay. Okay, here comes Pew One. That's a hit. Okay, so I get to add the 10 damage? Yeah, you can. Okay, so here's Pew One. Chipped a, a good piece out of it. Seemed to take the full damage. Okay. Sounds good to me. Yeah. So here's Pew 2. Yeah. That, that's a hit. Okay, so adding plus 10. Come on. I thought I had a macro here. Nice macro not working. Okay, hopefully oh, I didn't screw things up. Like a I'll plus 800. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> the macro had showed up the, the adjusting thing, but let's see what happens. Yeah, you did a nice. plus 33 on that. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. So, uh, let me just erase this. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so the macro does work. It just doesn't show it for me. Correct. So, just do it once. Alright, here's Pew 2. Well, do the damn. Sorry. Oh, you ever do damage from before? Yeah, yeah. Well, that one missed, so you missed on that one. But okay. redo the damage on the the previous one. Is that better? Yep, yep. That's good. Sixteen. Okay, it does work. Okay. And All right, so that one, one missed. Miss. Yep. And then that's it, right? Oh no, I still yeah. do. I still have haste. Oh snap! No. Oh, that you're only right. Last, that lasts a minute. Ten. Um, I forgot. The well, last ten minutes. Yep. It lasts ten minutes. Yep. Ooh. Oh, if that's the case, you still have haste then. And I also, I also have the dread ambusher attack, which we forgot about. Oh yeah. So, we'll so just roll another D8 oh, so then. I'll we'll say this is the dread ambusher if you want. Oh no, it's a minute. You're right. It is a minute. Yeah. So you I don't have speaking. haste. Yeah. Okay. So I have. We'll say this is the dread ambusher. It's fine. Well, that. That's your fourth attack. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because the haste doesn't Yeah, so yeah, just roll right. a d8. I'll say the second one that okay. hit was your, you usually do that, so. Right, so I'll add another six to his damage. Okay. All right, you have movement. Yipe, 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 yipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, big statues, guys, coming to life. Okay. Well, I can't see shit. Is that your turn? Okay. Yeah. Uh -uh. Like this one goes five. 
15. I'm gonna look at Griff and say, if you drag me again, I'm gonna polymorph you into a goat. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> and that's not greatest all right, all right, of all time. We'll keep up. Uh, where's he going? <laughs> He's the goat, man. He's the goat. Why did he go south? Okay. He goes there. Why? That's a big deep. Griff, you're why, up. Why did he go there? Oh. What's down there? From what oh. I see, it looks like a hallway. Five, 10, 15. Wait, are they? Hold on. Are they blocking the doors? Yeah, what's what's going on in this room? What do they what do they look like they're doing? Are they protecting something? Are they don't know? Uh, uh, they're moving, and they moved where they're at. Um, am I attacking a statue? Or attack and come back. Uh, where was I? Is it five, seven? You were right in front of Pistolette, weren't you? Yeah, I think or so. Or were you right behind seven, me? Fifteen. Can you range it? I can. I can reach. Don't you have Eldritch Blast? I mean, well. That's twenty there. Yeah. They attacked Perrin, right? No. No? They haven't attacked anything yet. No, they tried to... Uh, seal, they're sealing the exit, so I don't know. Maybe they're like, are they protecting the doors, or are they preventing us from leaving? We don't know, I guess. No. But it does look like they're blocking the... Hallways. I I feel bad, but I'm gonna attack the statue. That's what we do. Yep. Uh, you hit the statue. All right. Ching. It it chips it. I feel bad, but not bad enough to stop. That's a hit. <laughs> okay, that's a hit. That's good. Uh, you're you're chipping away at this thing. I'm gonna whack it, baseball bat style. Oh, oh, nothing on the crit. Nothing on the crit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <sighs> I'm gonna first level smite it. Mark off the spell slot. Oh. Alright. That's just the spear butt, but still. Alright. 26 damage to that statue. You got five more feet of movement. Wow. Is it even looking at me? Does it, did it even notice that I'm beating the shit out of it? It's a statue. It's, like, <laughs> it's, just, it's just standing there. I mean, it is, so it is at least looking at me. I mean, it's staring straight ahead. Oh, kind of, kind of creeped out, guys. Uh -huh. This doesn't feel right. I feel kind of like a jerk, but should I move back? Oh, that's dead. Okay. Um. I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. The select. Yeah. Uh, I can see it from where I am. Okay. I'm going to try its wisdom. That's a failure. Not so much. Let's see if that helps. All right. He took some necrotic damage. It seemed to... I, I don't know how you would know. I guess the stone turned a little 
The chronic? It's mushy. <laughs> I don't know. I can't compete with that one. Yeah. So, I'm just hey. gonna forward fire, give more light. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. Okay. Ask it to move. Maybe it talks. Uh huh. Five, ten, fifteen. Speak Swarbish? Oh, shit. 25. Alright, well, he's attacking me now. And, uh... Hey, buddy. Let's see... Let's see a strength check as it tries to push you in the corner. What? It's just walking. You're trying to stop it. Uh-oh. Nobody puts baby into a corner. <laughs> right. <thinking> it. <laughs> is it a strength or... It is a, this one's going to be a strength. Okay. This one's going to be straight up strength check. Strength check. Okay. Yeah. It's not gonna be super great. Oh, that's wow. nice. Okay, I lied. It's gonna be pretty great. Maybe. Is it enough? All right. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm feeling all calm. When that happens, so you're now caught in between these <gasps> guys. When that happens, hey guys. the middle of the room explodes outward, the, the tiles. Oh, shit. And, and out of it comes an undead bullet. I don't know what a bullet is, but run, that sounds run. scary. We just saw a picture of someone fighting one, right? Yes. Yeah. This one is undead. This one's undead. That's okay. So, pistolette. i kill it. <laughs> your, your stone would have been glowing here. Oh. Um, I don't know what you would have done with that information, because it's out to 120 feet. I mean, I guess the thing would have been glowing forever is it or is it or... yeah it it would have been glowing because it oh. it does go around corners i think sure. i mean 120 <laughs> feet it's sensing evil uh, under, yeah sorry yeah so it would have been we're, glowing we're well meant north. to relaying so to the question what am i doing with it i'm relaying the information there's a london within 120 feet yeah, I mean, that's what you would have said, right? So I guess yeah. you would have been a little bit on guard, but at the end of the day, you don't know yeah. where it is. I can't think okay. of Okay. No clue. Uh, uh, unfortunately, that thing is next, as it rolled really bad out of its initiative. That's cheating. I know. <laughs> I am cheating. And... Um, Fuck is that thing? Well, it, uh, what is that? Um, hmm. Oh my god, it can. All right, so no, uh, Griff, <laughs> no, this thing five ten. Oh shit! Fifteen. Oh, that's cute. Jumps in the air over the statues. What? And in lands mind? right on top of you. Can use its action to land on its feet in a space that contains one or more other creatures. 
each of those creatures has a choice of a saving throw. Oh, man. Okay. What's okay. one of my so, choices? It's it's one choice. Charisma? <laughs> 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 oh, hey. Charm my way Stop out of this. Sir. Sir. Liz. Ooh, hey, Ooh, baby. Blue steel. <laughs> now it says each of those creatures has a choice of saving throws, but it doesn't give you more than one option. Oh, here we go. You can either do a dex or a strength. Which one would you like? I mean strength. Okay. Alright, so let's do the strength. Here we go. You you failed. That's unfortunate. That is. Okay. You are now prone. Alright. I'm being sat on. And this. you took um, I took Oh, I took damage too. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh no. You took bludgeoning plus slashing damage. Oh no. Is it. Is it uh, can I. Can I use my inspiration to reroll? You can. You totally can. So let me redo this reroll. Alright, here Wait, we go. Does Pistolette have a really good dice as well? Oh, that's right. I think she had like a. She had a couple more. Oh, high one and the low one. Eighteen and the one. I mean, eighteen I and one. I wouldn't mind uh, an eighteen. Can I use the eighteen? Uh, can okay. you see Griff? Yep. Yeah. Well, I can see. Pistola. There's a fat ass on him, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> there's a dwarven statue in front of the door, too, blocking mm -hmm. entry. And foot up. I'm here. Yeah, it is. It is completely blocking the entry. You cannot get by it. But he's not a big square, right? Like she can see past him. Yeah, I guess he's got like legs and stuff. Yeah, okay, I'll I'll allow it. So you can give him the eighteen if you you so choose. There you go. Thank you. Okay. I can't count. So how many times you saved my ass. Right. <laughs> uh. Okay. So let me re. Let me just re-roll this and make it easy because you're still going to take half of this damage but you're not prone so let oh, me take right, prone right, off right. Okay. Okay. yeah so um uh let's see here oh no you are going to be prone because you can't move out of his space I could squeeze uh, I could squeeze over there if, yeah you know like if he squeezed me a little squeezy job <laughs> All right, I'm not going to be this nice next week. <laughs> You're it's a good thing that we're not playing DM. next week. We're not <laughs> playing next week, so you guys are good. All right, so he moves you that way. Uh, but you'll take half of this damage. Let me see if you'll just get a high number. God no, damn it, sorry. get a high number so I don't have to do math. Okay, no. I gotta oh, get, my God, I stop. Get those out of my system. There we go. There we go. Okay, so you'll take half of this yeah. Oof. 30 reduced down to 15 Whew. Uh, and that is his turn okay uh, can you still see there Griff you can still see right yeah yeah okay all right that's uh, that's his turn uh, all right. yeah you did 30 feet got right a big Five. fat undead target Okay. Butterfoot. Butter. Oh, you, you guys get in a lot of fights. You know that he comes right up to you, pistol. Yeah, no you're... shit. Hey, I'm not talking to you over there. <laughs> if we if we give Flutterfoot a weapon, will he do something? No. Probably not. Uh, do you want to give him a weapon? No. I'll give okay. him a weapon. He pulls he pulls out of his pants a club. Of course he does. What's the club made of? What's the club's name? <laughs> what is it made of? Made of wood. 
<laughs> and we are at the top of the round, and I think this is a good spot to uh, end it for <laughs> seven minutes over. <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, and Griff, uh, you can see that you're trapped in here. These, uh... Yeah. I only see one exit, and that's there's a big giant statue. I don't, I don't think those statues are... They haven't attacked us at all, right? So I think we just concentrate on the big bad and see what happens with the statues afterwards. I agree with uh, that. It'll be tough to shoot past these things. As the, like I said, they're taking up the entire Ooh. door. I mean, you can see through okay. its legs a little bit, but it's going to be difficult to shoot past them. Oh, I'm going to take to the roof. I'm, I'm walking up the walls and going to the roof, so I it's, get a clear shot. But it's covering the entire entryway. The whole ten feet. Can I? Do I have? You can't a, get past it. Do I have an angle on this bullet, nope. or am I also kind of squeezed out? No, you can. You can, you have an angle on okay. it. Okay. Would my so if I can see it, can my psychic blades get to it? Yeah, it, it's going to be under some cover though. Right. So right. it's going to get a, a bonus okay. to its AC, or right. you're going to get okay. minus. Well, I, I still got range attack, so okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. So. Unless it's like something like Pistolette does, right? With like um, spells, uh, yeah. like spells or something like that. That that that's not going to affect it unless it's a Eldritch Blast or something. But she uses Toll the, the Dead. Yeah, Toll the Dead stuff like that. That's going to be easy. Rip is going to smite it to hell anyway, seeing it's an abomination, right? Yeah, it's undead. I think it's smited. Ex extra dice. Yep. Yep. And then I got to look. Uh, See if that pearl is still glowing after this thing's 120 feet. So I gotta, I gotta do Check. some maths. Check the old things. Yeah. See if there's more undead around here. So, okay. Uh, so no game next week, guys. Um, and then after that, I think I'll have like four or five weeks, and then uh, mid November, I I'll be on a cruise somewhere. So. Awesome. Oh, nice. cruise. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Have fun. So, yeah. So, yeah. cool. Right. All right. Well, enjoy your two weeks. Unless, unless somebody wants to do a Saturday, Saturday morning. I won't next be two able weeks. to the next couple. Yeah. yeah, yeah so it's Canadian, that, Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving coming up. So. Okay. Cool. 